everybody. How the hell are you? Stu, Germ, and Pigpen here again. Get ready, grab your beer. It's time to live stream. What's up, Stu? What's up, Jerem? How the hell are you guys? Ah, oh, pretty good. Now, I don't know if we got this audio thing really ironed out. We didn't do much <laughs> from last week. We are slackers, but um, you know, whatever. We'll we'll try. We'll try to get this thing as best as we can. Thanks for joining, everybody. Uh, it's time for a beer. Let me fill my pint glass up. I have my extra big pint glass, man. I think this is a 22 ouncer. Nice. I can fit this all in here. Um, I was thinking about drinking from the bottle, but I uh, figured I'd go be a little, after this weekend, I, I figured I need to sip, be a little bit civilized. Need I don't to... drink alcohol ever, so I don't have anything like that. <laughs> He is. That's right. I don't touch the stuff. Just like the way I dress. So straight edge. Yeah. Dude, what's up with that? What you? What are those Hawaiian flower prints on that? But you, you can't. Well, you can't really see it. But uh, yeah, there's some flowers. These are little uh, oh, all right. Bloody Marys in between. Oh, the I didn't see the Bloody yeah. Marys. I like that. Nice touch. Yeah, but, let me show you my right nipple. Right there. Ah, uh, it looks like a. Face. Your nipple looks like a uh, pink butthole. <laughs> Uh -huh. And uh, I wore this on the first day we camped. Uh, I wore it unbuttoned, of course, no shirt underneath, and it had sunglasses and flippy flops. Yep. And I ran around a redneck hillbilly campsite like that. Mm. Nice. So, nice. That's the only way to do it. I wanted a picture taken with me, so that was nice. Nice. Oh, I, uh, I got all kinds of Hawaiian shirts. I used to live in Hawaii, you know, so. Uh, yeah, go ahead and drop that in, buddy. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I used to live there. Wearing Hawaiian shirts so after I left Hawaii, though, because huh. I mean you don't want to be that guy in Hawaii. You also used to live on a submarine and share a bed with a guy, so um, yeah, you know, straight, you know, <laughs> things. I'll suck your dick for some crap. Yeah, you just you know. Do they actually yeah. wear Hawaiian shirts in Hawaii? Oh yeah, and it's like uh, I mean even it's funny because you'll be watching uh, you know politicians or whatever, and they'll be debating something, and they're all wearing Hawaiian shirts. And you're like, seriously, you want me to take you serious right now? Really? Like, What's up? Oh, we got. Uh, yeah, it works sometimes, like on a Friday, I wear it, and I get all kinds of looks. Like back in South Carolina, uh, everyone everyone wore them on Fridays. Here, no one wears them on a Friday, so everyone's like, "What the hell is wrong with you?" Now we have dress uh, down days, like casual days at work. Everybody, I still dress up. Like I, I wear a nice fucking suit and tie. No, I don't. But uh, I don't dress down. I still wear my collar shirt every day. I'm, yeah. I get home and I'm a slacker, but at work I try to make the appearance that I'm not. Um, we got some of uh, the usual guys here. Handy Rand, he's late foot here. The Hot Pepper's here. He's always here. Joe Camp, he says, hey, man, it's been a while. Hey, what's up with Mike Tyson punch out? Knockout, he says, but it's punch out, man. Uh, <laughs> nice. Right. Um, yeah, so uh, we, got, we got some stuff to talk about, man. I, I had a busy weekend, a lot of drinking and uh, driving. Drinking and driving, but not together. Some some together, some not together. Be careful what you're telling the kids to do here. I know, I know. I'm trying to... You're trying to send a positive and healthy message to the youth of today. So, is it... So, it's positive to say you drove first, then drank, right? That's exactly... As long as you, that's right. as long as you didn't drive after, yeah. That's yes, the, that's, that's exactly... Key. That's exactly what I did. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty careful. I don't really drink and drive anymore. Um, yeah, don't like do it any anymore. less either, but no, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I had a, had a busy weekend, man. Getting hung out with some friends, had some beers. I don't have any great stories though. It was not a great story kind of weekend. I was hoping to like, it was a, you know, it was a, it was kind of a slow week. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked a lot. I know you worked, you worked obviously. 
Uh, you spent the weekend barbecuing and lounging by a pool. Probably not many stories there unless you're, you know, like not having to slip out or something. You had no. a wardrobe malfunction. No. Well. I didn't have, I didn't have anything really uh, happen to me until today, actually. I want to hear this story, by the way. Uh, let's just go right on it. Let's hear the story. So, so, you know, as everybody knows, I work, I, you know, I work at Walmart. I'm a... I'm a door greeter. A customer host is the technical. I'm sorry, but uh, my title is customer host. If I went to Walmart and there was a dude like you greeting the door, I would just, I don't know what I would do, man. I don't know if I would just turn around. That's one. I'm very pleasant, easy on the eyes. So people feel comfortable when they walk into Walmart. They feel at home when they see me at the door. They're very happy, smiling. The ladies like when I call them ladies. Mm -hmm. I never call them man. Which was something hard for me to break, by the way, Jeremy. I don't know if you had the same problem, but you know, every every woman I encountered in the military, pretty much in the Navy, was an officer. I didn't encounter too many enlisted women because I was on an all male. I was on an all male boat, so everybody was man. It's man, man, man. I got out. I started manning people because it's a you know show of respect. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. They don't like man. Yeah. I think it's a reason. I, mean, I, I live in the South, and it's that's expected. You can call everyone man. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I could see it as a regional thing. And I know in the Northeast, it's not no man. No, you, so you call someone ma'am. Hmm. Right. So I, I yes. take, yeah, that's a good one. That's probably better, yeah. Hey, anyway, Frank, Frank the Tank's tossing out, uh, uh, what's the word here I'm looking for? Um, I'm thinking congratulations, but that's not even the word. He's compliments on your freaking hat. There we go. I don't know why it was so hard for me to think of compliments. It's just not word. In, it's not in my vocabulary. Compliment, but he's throwing out compliments. He likes your hat. I think Frank, thank you, Frank. The tank likes my hat. <laughs> I actually wore a hat just like that all weekend long in the pool because I'm a ginger, so I have to have the brim yeah, just sort of keep that off of me. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Frank, yeah. Frank says he got hit by a meteor. Was it a meteor oh, or a meteorite? Oh shit! You, you know, know what? Frank, you and I need to sit down. We need to do. Uh, we need to do a one-on-one, -on -one, buddy. We need to get together. I need to ask you some questions. <laughs> nice, Dave. This is going to work out perfect because Dave, is, he'll be home in about 35 minutes. He might join the live stream because uh, Jerm's going to – you've got to cut out here in a little bit, don't you, Jerm? Yeah, I'll, I'll, only, I'll only be here 20, 30 minutes or so. but uh, That'll work out perfect because uh, you jump out. Uh, we can get Dave in here. Dave says he's got a story. <laughs> That'll work out perfect because we don't want you in here, you son of a bitch. Sure, 20? You want to stick around that long, really? <laughs> sir, sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> I got yeah. <laughs> I've been, I've had that. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like uh, Indiana Jones tickets, please. Tickets, yeah. please. Uh, <laughs> you know, I might go meet Frank. Frank the Tank lives in Jersey. We were we were talking yesterday. We live streamed. Oh, Jersey. Well, yeah. <laughs> we, no, no, no. I don't, I don't like parts of New Jersey. Not a big fan of Newark. Now, uh, Jerm has a nice story. He went to uh, the Misfits concert. That's right. Last... I noticed on your uh, intro music, I don't know if it was on purpose, but that was uh, that was a Misfits, 8-bit Misfits play in there. It was, and it was actually for last week, but yeah. we did the uh, the, the horse, Steve Horseradish, so I didn't yeah, use right. that intro, but right. it still worked out good because of your, the concert, and, and it's just a kick-ass song. It sounds, it even sounds kick-ass in 8-bit. Mm. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. It gets me all pumped up. Even 8-bit gets me pumped up. It's awesome. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. Right. yeah. When, I, when I was in school in Orlando, I used to play, it was when uh, Super Mario 64 came out. And you remember the Nintendo 64? And I would play for hours, but the volume got turned down and I was blasting Misfits the whole time. So to me, the perfect combination is Mario doing his little bouncy runaround <laughs> in the background. It's just like, yeah. it's, it just goes perfect. Like, I just want to make a whole music video oh. of just Mario running around and the Misfits playing. See, if I would have known, I would have done that. I would have gotten some, which Mario? Uh, Mario 64. 64. Remember the first one that was 3D where you could actually run around? Oh, yeah. You know, kind of run towards the camera and jump up and get the stars and all that. Yep, God, that was the one where they had... Yep. The mirror, you would jump through the mirror on the wall and it would one ripple. Is trying to become, one is trying to become a uh, regular. Who? Uh, what? He's trying to be a regular here, which we appreciate. You don't have to apologize, Juan. Just set the reminders, you know. 
on your phone and oh, you can all hear me. Oh, I'm sorry for not being one of the usuals, but I'm trying to be mad. Why? You're here, that's all that matters, but just turn those video notifications on. When you hear the bell, you know Pigpen's about to be an idiot, and Stu and Germ are going to be right there being idiots with us, with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andy, oh. Andy, Randy, saying, uh, let us know that, yeah, the, the punch-out game, near the end there, uh, they got rid of the Mike Tyson part. I think that was when he started eating people's ears yeah. or something. Yeah, 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 they called it. Uh, we're threatening to eat people's children. It was one of those things. Oh. Yeah, one of Something. You know, Mike Tyson. Uh, he had a house. He had a house in Ohio here. No way. Tyson? Uh, yeah, he had a house in Ohio. It wasn't far from here. It's uh. Oh crap! Where was it? Huh. I can't remember. But anyway, so his house uh is being turned into a church. His mansion. Come on. Here to God. You can look it up. Look it up. Have pictures of the inside of this mansion. It had an indoor pool, and uh, that might actually get me to go to church. Cause they got a pool. <laughs> can I go to church and bite somebody's ear? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah his, house was in, his house was in uh, Trumbull County, which is one county over from where I am in Mahoney County. Oh, oh so yeah, he had a but he had a house in Ohio, and it is it is being turned into a I don't know what kind of church, what faith, or if it's like a universe. I'm thinking it's more of a universal church. Hmm. That seems to be, it's in my head, I, it makes sense that a church that was like unaffiliated with any particular branch is the only ones who would buy Mike yeah. Tyson's old house what? to turn into a sanctuary. What I'm was the market it that way? Is that going to be like, hey, come to our church, Mike Tyson? That's the immaculate. Of the Immaculate House of Mike Tyson. That's right. Oh man. <laughs> so a couple of things. Hey, uh, Handy Randy. First of all, he like he says, "Did you know that Mike Tyson wasn't uh, the last the, the boss?" And yeah, I knew that. What was his name though? Mister Dream, or there was like a Dream Bout, or I think it was like Mister Dream, something like that. Um, but so here's a good question, actually, and I don't know if I can even answer it. He says I, all three I, I'm of you. I'm trying to, and I can't. Yeah, he's like, what, he asks, he's like, all three of you, what was your what was your all-time favorite game growing up? And I can't, dude, we have so many games, like the three of us playing video games, and I, it went through, like, different time periods. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I remember. I was, huge, I was huge into the, uh, into, I love the fighting games. So yeah. Street Fighter, you know, when I'm, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. That's... The original Mortal Kombat. Oh my God! Remember, parents flipped out Dude. about that because it was so bloody. Now you look it's at it, it's, it's, it's nothing. Ridiculous. No. You get him on the you get him on the edge on the third round, and you'd have that upper cut him three three or four seconds to put in your fatality code. Uh huh. Rip his head off and his spine hanging. Right. That's right. Oh my gosh. So all yeah. the fighting games, man, I could just go on and on and on. Like all the Mario, the, all the Zeldas, fucking Mario Kart. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Was Roller Coaster. Dude, we played, remember that game? Uh, I think it was on, I don't know if it was on the 64 with Lemmings. Do you remember that one? Lemmings. Oh my God, yes. We used to play the shit out of that game. Dude, Remember Lemmings. That? Oh my God, we would stay up for like all night long in the basement cranking away at Lemmings. That game. Was, and like, we didn't play it the way you were supposed to play it, <laughs> like solve the puzzles. No. We played it to figure out how big of a hole can we dig with exploding Lemmings because we would corral them all into one spot high up on just, the board <laughs> and just hit the new button and they would just dig a hole. Oh. Like it would freeze up the Nintendo. There was so much going on. <laughs> I love this question. Juan says, were you into Call of Duty at all growing up? Oh, yeah. Juan, I, I, I hate to break the news to you, but we're a little old. Um, I played Call of Duty. When Call of Duty came out, I was in my 30s. <laughs> yeah, I, I was in the Navy when, when Call of Duty came out, and uh, I did play the shit out of it, though. The I remember the, oh, was the original Call of Duty was the one where you start off storming the beach in Normandy, right? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. The first one I played was uh, Black Ops, Call of Duty Warner. Black Ops 2. No, Black Ops 1. Sorry. Yeah, no, it went back a little further than that. I want to say it was Medal of Honor that had you storming the beach. Oh, oh, that was... Call of yeah. I don't know if that Call was even the... I didn't really start playing Call of Duty until Modern Warfare. That's when I really got into uh, Call okay. of Duty. I'm a little late to the party on that one, but I do love that game. So that's... You could probably put that up on another one of my favorite 
games as far as I mean, the game itself wasn't I mean it was fun but I really liked the online play I liked the huge community of people that you could play with I just like pissing and people and off like Black yeah. Ops 1 was the greatest because they had the uh, the sticky grenades and I loved running up to somebody and sticking it right to their nuts and just jumping back so they can't kill you and they only had about a second and a half to two seconds to just what the hell's go <laughs> they're done and you just jump I, I around on, laughing on, uh, what was it Nintendo 64 the Golden Eye Golden Eye you four players split screen you know oh my and, god and uh, the the proximity mines were my favorite I love throwing proximity mines into like the the high traffic areas dude and just proximity people. mines um there were the remote mines. And then they had, didn't they have ones that you could throw and stick to the wall? Or was that, those were proximity mines, I'm right. Yeah, those were the proximity mines. Yeah. You stick them to the wall and you got near, and you could hear it if you were going slow enough, you'd hear a beep and you knew to get out of there. But but you could also shoot the mines. Yes. You, I, I would throw, instead of proximity mines, I would just throw regular mines on the ground or on the wall. And when someone walked into the room, I would shoot at the mines and blow them up. <laughs> I love that game, man. I, we, I, fucking, I spent so many hours. That was, uh, I, that game was like the one, our go-to game, my first apartment ever. There was a whole bunch yeah. of us, and we, it was just a party house, and all we did was just play video games, and that was our go-to game. We would sit there and play till the sun came up. We'd have to get up, get two hours of sleep, go to work, drag ass all the way through work, come home, and play video games and do it all over again. Yep, I did it when I was in school. Andy Randy switched only... Racing games when he lost his hand. I feel bad because I kind of laughed at the fact that he's Andy Randy and he's missing. Oh, You're going I'm to hell sure for that. that You're going I'm straight sure to hell, sure Stu. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, well, I play mostly racing games because it's just, I don't know, man. I love them. Like, I play, well, I don't play the, the, the racing rivals, but the, um, Racing Simulator, mm -hmm. which I showed up here the other day. It's pretty dark in here. You probably can't see now. It's called... You can't see shit. Isn't that the Racing okay. Stimulator? It had that little... <laughs> fisting? Yeah, it actually... Yeah, I got a, 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 a little shaker on it, so whenever you hit the curbs, it <laughs> kicks the seat. And, uh, yeah, I love racing, man. So much fun. So much fun. You have a, you have a seat so uh, you can get a pretty girl to ride shotgun when you're playing in your Racing Stimulator? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better than a motorcycle. Better than a Harley. Oh, Come play my God. video game, baby. <laughs> can, I get a, can, I get a, can I get simulated roadhead in your riding simulator? <laughs> so, so since, uh, Jerm, you have to, since you're going to be leaving soon, we should put that video up now. The, uh, the video. That, oh, Which I don't know. What, I think I showed it to you last week, but, uh, just to get a, get, 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 get just a laugh here. Um, let me put it up so everybody can watch that. Um, you guys ready? Here we go. I'll just throw it up here. Let me uh, get the. Let me get this ready for you guys. Uh, oh wait, I can't do that, can I? Oh yeah, I can actually. Let me get this ready, Jerm. You'll remember it as soon as I start playing it. Uh, there it is. Oh yeah. No, yeah. Hi, my name is Mitch, and last week I ate a cactus. Fuck, 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 fuck! Holy fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> um, but I thought that wasn't stupid enough, so this is the Flaming Cactus Challenge. We have beers for safety. I love that line. Um, I'm gonna steal that. We have this cactus is already soaked in Grandpa's famous moonshine. I'll have a little more. Oh. I took the one take because I couldn't get a match to light. And here we go, Flaming Cactus Challenge. I assume no responsibility if you're dumb enough to try this yourself.
tell you i freaking saw that and i laughed my ass off but the sad part is that could have been any one of the three of us when we were growing up if we had the internet that could have been any one of us yeah i i i'd probably be missing some appendages if we had the internet oh my to god show off our stupidity to people <laughs> oh my god yeah we <laughs> we did some dumb shit hey what's up toby yeah so I, I, uh, Toby's making his appearance. I don't think he's relentless. He wasn't going to stop till he got over here. Nope. There's the cat butt. <laughs> uh, he, leaves a cloud of, he leaves a cloud of hair when he saunters off. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think I may have found the uh, video that, that uh, Randy was telling us about. I just posted a link to it. What, what video? That's, that's the uh, dude putting firecrackers all around his body. Ooh. I don't know if you're able to just pull that up and play it, Joe. Or, uh, uh, I don't see the link. <clears throat> oh, I posted it in the chat. Sorry. Oh, in uh, the chat. The normal chat. I guess I should have posted it in our chat, but yeah. Uh, all right. I didn't even see it in the normal chat. Let me see if I can do this while we're kind of live streaming here. If I can do this. Um... <laughs> you're on fire. Dude. But, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. Um, here, I'm posting a link into our, our uh, Facebook chat, too, so there you There's go. There's the link. Okay. Hey, uh, um, this video I may saw, be uh, inappropriate for some it. users. <laughs> no, we, we have an previous. Megalodon mentioned LA Beast. He does. LA Beast, I don't know if you guys have ever seen LA Beast. He's that whack job on the West Coast that he does all kind of stupid, crazy shit, like eats things and drinks things and like large amounts like he's just a big dude and uh i mean he's a fit guy though he's like swole works out and yeah. uh, he, he, he ate cactus before but he ate just like raw dry cactus just like hmm. really spiny cactus too uh here we go big dude puts firecrackers yeah, all around his users. body and <laughs> not these users um i don't know if it's gonna have audio i have to let me push oh shoot yeah we might we might just load this up next time well hold on oh maybe it's got audio and, and it probably looks awesome without audio oh, my oh god oh god <laughs> Oh, did you get that? Yeah. Oh. Do you have any ES4? I do. I'm gonna definitely need some. XYZ, and that fucking hurt so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah. He immediately regretted that. XYZ, are they like a jackass group? Oh my god. They, they must be. I don't know, oh, man. So awesome. remember, uh, before oh. Jackax, there was, uh, I forget what it was called. I want to say it was some kind of letter combination of guys doing that. It was the same crew. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, Jeez. you're. Oh. Nah. I, I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember. Or something like that? My brain cells have been pickled, so I don't really know. Oh. <laughs> Years of abuse. Holy crap! I, I mean, well, I'm just watching this video over and over, man. I uh, love the instant regret. That's my favorite thing about it. Like, yeah. as soon as it starts going off, I shouldn't have done this. All right, I'm a, I'll put it back on. I got to turn the volume down. I think it was really loud. Ah. Uh, Maybe it wasn't. Uh, for me, it was kind of loud. But here we go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again for for good measure. That's right. Oh my 
gosh. I love oh. the instant that it starts flaring up on his shoulder, man, and he like instantly yeah. he knows he fucked up. Yeah. At least he had snow to dive into. I mean, you know? Oh <laughs> my god. And he went There's straight to the snow. There's a video somebody sent me or I saw on Facebook. I'll have to find it again. There's some guy, some big fat guy, uh, also instant regret video. He has some like little league slugger take a whack at his balls with an aluminum bat. Oh, oh my God. You oh, know, that's just dumb. I, I love yeah. being a jackass. I love doing stuff on live, you know, on the YouTube channel and live streaming and all that. But there's there's just a point yeah. where I think I cross, I think the, the line... You know, you're right there at the line. Do I cross it? No. No, I don't, you yeah. know? But, but having a kid hit you in the in the nuts with a ball bat is way past that line. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, by the way, it was CKY was what I, I was thinking of. It was uh, CKY. Oh, yes, yes. I didn't remember that. Wasn't, Margera, wasn't that a no, band? What's that? Wasn't that a band? No, CKY was a video series like that hmm. predated Jackass. It was Bam, and, or maybe it was right after Jackass. Brandon yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, Bam Margera and their crew from Westchester in Pennsylvania, hmm. they did, you know, they did uh, CKY, which was like, it was Jackass in Westchester, Pennsylvania, basically. Okay. Or wherever they happened to be. Uh, so he, it was XYZ on that guy's uh, hat, right? Oh. He was talking about XYZ. Uh, so. So. Uh, that's just, it, it, that's. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I, we missed our calling. That's all I know. I'm telling you, we, we were just, we were maybe like four. We were ahead uh, of our time. We were like five years ahead of our time. If we yeah. were five years well, I mean, later. To have it, by the, time the, by the time you could upload anything on the internet, when, uh, you know, in, in our lifetime. Yeah. We were already out of school pretty much. Oh right? my God, dude. We, I mean, and we were in school, but. No, it's, the it's, amount it's, of time it's, it's going to take you to upload a video. A week and a half on dial-up. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, real problem, the real problem with the timeline is that by the time we were able to upload videos, we had to pay our own medical bills. And so, <laughs> and I'll say, as dumb as we were, we, we had at least a little bit of common sense to go, hey, I'm not paying my own medical bills, bills at this point. That's right. That's right. Uh, Andy, Randy said, Andy Randy says it's never too late. Hey, we, we did we hospitalized pig pen once. <laughs> well, not quite a full hospitalization. But I, I wouldn't say hospitalized, like sleeping there, but you had to go to the hospital because of some dumb shit that we did. Yeah, freaking burn the shit out of my hand. Yes. It looked it yes, we, the, we skin was, hand. the skin was the skin was black and crunchy. Like, <laughs> the hot dog has to get left on the grill too long at the Fourth of July barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's here, and no, we're not too damn busy, Mike. We're just slackers. We see it, or we're like, I'll get to it in a yeah. few. No, Mike, Mike, Stu's the I man here. I Mike. He, he, he complimented my hat. I said I wore it just for you, Mike. I complimented him as soon as he got here. Was it Mike? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Mike. I think, I don't think so. I think maybe not. I don't know. Mike, yeah. did you, anyway, Mike, Mike might. In, um, he might enjoy your what was it your uh, your story from work? I didn't hear the story. Oh yeah, the greeter story. Oh yeah, we kind of got off track. Right? Yeah, yeah, we did. So we got sidetracked. Yeah, t let's talk about that. What is your story? I'm just a door greeter. That's what I do. I, I work the door. So yeah. today, this uh, this older black gentleman comes in. He's 87 years old, and. Uh, he says he wants he, he gets one of those motorized grocery shopping carts that everybody fights over at that place, and then he says he needs somebody to go around the store with him to help him get his groceries because he's got a bad arm. Fair so, enough. You know, got injured in Korea. How come I can't get somebody to go around with this? You know, around the store with me. Oh, you could. All you got to do is ask. I gotta Have ask. You ever no. Well, ask next time. I've got to. I'm going to record. I'll record it too. I'll put my phone in my pocket with the camera pointing out. And I'll just nonchalantly. Nobody will ever notice my phone recording here, right? And I'll just go around and I'll ask people if they want to go around with me shopping. And I guarantee I will not get a single person. Hey, and I, by the way, I backed up in the car. 
comments, and it was Mike that complimented my hat, and I did tell him thank you in the I did tell him thank you in the live stream. He can go back, he can oh. go back and look at that. Oh. But anyway, of course, now, so, now Stu basically sounds like he's saying it. fuck you, but <laughs> <laughs> this, guy, this guy comes into the store. Yeah. And, uh, he asked for help. I said, well, let me uh, let me see if I can get somebody to help you, you know, because I'm on the door. I'm not really supposed to leave the doors. I'm supposed to watch, you know, people going with their receipts, make sure they paid for their 55-inch television. But he, uh, I start to walk away, and he says, uh, hey, I need a 55. I want you to help me. I wanted a 55-inch TV. Can you give me some pointers how to get that out of the store without anybody checking my receipt? Wait till I go on break. <laughs> All right. Act like you're supposed to be there, man. You can get away with anything if you uh, look like you're supposed to be doing it. Yeah, go go to the get Liberty a Walmart vest. Go to the Liberty Walmart when I'm working. And I think I know how to get one. Go on my first 15 minute break and get yourself a brand new TV. So as I was saying, I used to work at Walmart, so I just made that comment. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Hill, his name's Mr. Hill. We're gonna call him Mr. Hill. He comes in and he tells me. Uh. He tells us, I go to find somebody tells me he wants me. I said, all right, you know, let's go. Who gives a shit? I had like an hour left on my ship, so I was looking to fill some time anyway. Figured it would kill 20 minutes. It took the whole hour. He uh, would stop and tell me stories in aisles that he didn't even need anything in. Was he just a lonely old man? I think he just wanted to talk to somebody, but... Every story he told me was like a horror story. He was telling me about this two years he spent in Korea and how uh, they were locked up in one location. You know, they couldn't leave. And he was there for two years. He says there were no shower facilities. They had to, like, bathe in some dirty-ass creek. Was he, know, a, was he a prisoner? Or just, yeah. That's what it was no, like. They were serving. The, he, the way he told the story, it was like he, uh, it was just where they were at. So they he wasn't a POW. Place. No, no, he didn't ever said P.O. though. He said he was he had to bathe in some creek and he got, I don't know, something. Uh, he thought he had BD, but he hadn't been with anybody in Korea. So he, he goes to the doctor and the doctor tells him to, because uh, he's having, he's, his ass is breaking out, he's telling me. He's like, my ass is all broke out. Like, I can't shit. What do you mean by doctor, broken out? Because you could take that literally. Or you could... I don't think it meant he turned his rectum out, no. Okay. I think it meant like he had a like, bad diaper rash or something. Okay, all right. Cause... <laughs> but he tells me, the doctor tells him to, to stick Vaseline up his rectum. <laughs> and, uh, I think he's pulling your freaking leg, dude. Well, I don't think that the man... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How far did he take this I need help thing? Because I'm, I'm, I was about to head to, off to bed, but I kind of... <laughs> he didn't know it. He didn't ask me. He didn't ask him to put petroleum jelly up his rectum, which is what his doctor told him to do. Was he in which the? He, still, uh, the rest of the day, he told me he still sticks petroleum jelly up his ass. Did you take him to the health and beauty aisle? What's that? Did you take him to the health and beauty aisle? I did, but you know what he bought? Five bottles of brute aftershave. Was he putting that up his ass? <laughs> I got. I hope those those bottlenecks are that pretty skinny. They that would probably three. burn. Reminds me of that old uh, Adam Sandler song. Burns the face. I cannot imagine that. Oh, God. So, yeah, he tells me, the doctor tells him to put petroleum jelly up his ass and then go drink as much beer as he can. So, apparently, he wasn't a POW if he was drinking beer in Korea. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. He he the doctor him tells him that. He got locked up in a kitchen for, like, two days. They got him in the mess working, and he ended up drinking. I can't remember how many beers. So, did I hear that right? The doctor told him to put Vaseline up his ass and go drink a shitload of beer. That was how you apparently cured whatever he had from this dirty creek he bathed in. Did this guy have a um a, a meteorite wound on his face? <laughs> big, <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds like someone you talked to recently. Some big frothy. This man, this man knew how to talk, man. He just he had sto He just wanted to tell stories. He was we, he was on a scooter and I was pulling a cart behind him. You know. You think we could get him to live stream with us? I doubt it. No, I doubt that. Damn. No, I don't know. He might. Next time he comes in, I'll ask him because I think I made a new friend. I think he's probably going to request my services again. Hell yeah, he, man. He talked that whole hour. He would, Like I said, he would just stop in the middle of everything to tell me a story. And then he'd be like, so I have a stick of petroleum jelly up my ass. And I thought I had BD. And I love this girl named Jody. And I'm like, 
So you want the orange juice? Which brand of orange juice do you want? <laughs> Yeah, normally I love hearing stories from from vets, but um, if the stories involve that, mm, maybe not so much. I I chalk it up, like I said, to the fact that he probably doesn't have very many people to listen, or all the years that he had to bend, he spent. Yeah. Hey, you tell him if he's ever lonely, if he's ever lonely, bring him on the show here. I'm all ears, man. I'd love to hear these stories. Hey, I'll tell them to you. I'll let him know. Mr. Hill, my new, my new favorite Walmart customer, yeah. who I go shopping with now every Monday, apparently. What's up, Mr. Banana? Mr. Banana? Mr. Banana's here. Yeah. Mr. Banana. Mr. Banana. That's right. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever gone to Walmart on a Black Friday. I'm not sadistic in any way, or as a masochistic, whichever one it is. Uh, I don't like to fuck myself, so. Nah. Uh, I've been to Walmart on one Black Friday. It'll never happen again. God, I cannot. I, I've never been to a Black Friday. Never, ever will I. It just yeah, looks it's, ridiculous. It's, 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 it's the people who want the sales, but they're still restricting themselves to Walmart, so you know you're getting the best of the best. Hey, Mike says he has tons of stories to tell us. I bet he does. I mean, have you ever stuck uh, Vaseline up your ass there, Mike? How about and, fruit, uh, fruit aftershave? Know, know. <laughs> Dude, that fruit aftershave, like you said, it has that, um, the, the neck, the long, slim neck for easy um, application. Easy insertion, yeah. And, you know, I couldn't believe he bought five bottles of the stuff and a bottle of, like, Electroshave aftershave. Do you remember? Like, it's basically oh. just uh, that, that balm it's, stuff you used to pat on your cheeks when, you know, it was 1973. Like um, Kevin McAllister. He put it on his face and <laughs> screams, Home Alone. Yeah. yeah. That, shit, like, that, shit that, right. that shit, man. That shit burns. That shit burns. You refused in a recent interview to do the Home Alone face. Well, that probably be, I'd be like, that. seriously? I'm I would like, too. What, if someone asked me, now? Yeah, if someone asked me at 40 years old, like, do the Home Alone face, I'd be like, go pull yeah. up your Yeah. <laughs> Macaulay Calkins seen some shit, man. He went through some rough years there. He he has aged. He looks like he went through some rough years, too. Yes. Dude, he's younger than us, and he looks like he's in his yeah. Yeah. late 50s. Yes. He, he has, is, yeah. he <laughs> has been rode hard and put away wet. <laughs> Man. Dry for that matter. Yep, yep. Let's see. I'm, I'm pulling up some uh, some rough images of him. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. Handy Randy, uh, have any of you been fired and why? I gotta be honest, man. What is? Oh, uh, there you. Yeah, that. Yeah, look at him. Macaulay Culkin right there, doing some. Whew. <laughs> God, man, he looked like. He had some rough ears. Shit. He does yeah. look. Yeah, he looked like he was part of the Seattle grunge scene. Yeah, back in 92. Yeah, he's almost. He's 37. He was born in 80. So he was That's born it. Like, he's, what, he's, years after I was. He's younger than us, and he looks about 15 to 20 years older. He just looks worn out. Yeah, he does. God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's been through some shit. So I want to show you guys this picture there. I got to run. Okay. Um, okay, as you know, I went to the Misfits show a week or two ago in Newark. Uh, big mess. Bag got lost on the airplane, and oh, the uh, hotel room got canceled. So we show up at the hotel, uh, go to check in. I, I booked the hotel the day I found out about the concert. I bought my ticket and I booked the hotel, and uh, thought everything was good to go. Booked my flight, everything, and we get to the hotel, which was right next door to the concert venue. And I, I roll up to the counter. Hi, I'm here to check in. And they said, oh, uh, we don't have a room for you. We overbooked, and you don't have a room. I'm like, I'll fucking what? sleep in your lobby, you bitches. Yeah, I'm in Newark, New Jersey. If any of y'all ever been to Newark, New Jersey, when you see, like, the old, like, 80s pictures of New York City, like, when it was, like, 80s full of crack and horrors and everything and crack horrors, yes, this is... That just moved to Newark. Like, New York City's nice now. All they did was pick all those people up and move them Dump to them Newark. across the river. Yes. It, I was serious. I was like, I'm in an 80s movie right now. And uh, it was, it was, yeah. Anyway, so I was pretty pissed off. 
they didn't offer to find me another room, nothing. I'm sitting here with a $300 concert ticket in my hand, and I'm like, what do I do? Do I go looking for a hotel room, or do I just say, fuck it, and go to the concert? And so I said, fuck it, went to the concert. <laughs> and <laughs> Any self-respecting I, person would have done yeah, that. Right. So I, but, but I'm in the lobby, right? And I'm all, you know, I'm doing the, the typical pissed off customer, like, what the hell are you talking about? You know, and, uh, and I, I see these other guys sitting around the lobby and they're like, oh, they did it to you too. I'm like, what are you talking about? And they said, they did it to us. And we've sat here and watched two dozen other people. They did it to, Holy by the way, this is the courtyard Marriott I'm talking about. And please never, ever, ever give those fuckers a dime of your money. Uh. And they, uh, we sat there in the lobby. Uh, my wife was with me. She was or the plan was she was going to stay in the hotel room while I went to the show, and and then that was that. Well, now she has to get an Uber by herself back to our friend's house in Weehawk in like 30, 30 40 minutes away, and um, and uh, I'm just like, well, I'm just going to go to the show. I'm going to hang out with these folks or whatever. So she told them, she's like, just take care of them. Make sure you don't get himself into trouble. I was, <laughs> I was pretty pissed off. She was worried I was going to end up in jail. You know, and, uh, something tells me I, this is like a, a repeat of the Metallica concert. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so she, she takes off and I'm hanging out with these people. Now I, I got a picture up here. I'm going to show everyone. I want you to see, these are the people that she left me in charge with to take care of me uh, before the show. That was, that was our crew that night. Dude, <laughs> I, I, I was, so good, though. they look like a Sid and Nancy movie, basically. <laughs> like, if you ever seen Sid and Nancy, that's who I was hanging out with, right? They all live in New York. They're all from Manhattan or whatever. And uh, yeah, total awesome, awesome crew, though. They were a lot of fun. They look and, cool. Uh, we, had a, we had a lot of drinks that night and, and went and saw the show anyway. So what did you and end then, up uh, doing? What's that? So what did you end up doing? I ended up going to the fucking concert. We, 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 I got shit hammer with these guys and then, uh, walked over to the concert, watched the concert and then, uh, and then got in an Uber and, and went and stayed at our friend's house and we got in. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you yeah, so, that had to be a great, that had to be a great 30 minute Uber ride with you. Yeah, I was, yeah, my, my driver was from Jamaica. Yeah. So um, so the, one, one thing that the Misfits did on these shows, because they, they're only doing a handful of reunion shows, and they're not, uh, they don't like cell phones, right, at the concerts. And I'm with them on that. I hate that. I hate going to a concert and seeing just a sea of cell phones up in the air. All you can see is all these cell phones. Back in our and day, we held up lighters. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, they're not even holding up like, for lighters. Everyone's just taping the thing. And I'm cool with, you know, sure, take a couple pictures, but... You know, I'd like to see the show instead of a sea of cell phones. So what the Misfits did was they hired this company to basically, as you're going in, you got to go through a metal detector. So you got to set your phone down and then they take your phone and they put it in this bag. It's kind of like neoprene and it's, it locks, right? It's got like a little plastic clip lock thing on it and your phone's locked up. And basically they're like, you can come out anytime and we'll unlock it for you. So if you need to use your phone, just walk out here. We'll unlock it. You're just not allowed to have a phone out there. And it was, and they clearly stated, like on the signs, if we see a cell phone, we will remove you from the concert, like period, right? So a lot of people were, they got their panties in a bunch about it, and they thought it was shitty. I fucking loved it. I was the first time since the '90s that I've been at a concert, and you could see the fucking band, and no cell phones at all. I didn't see a single cell phone going up, go up in there the entire time I was there. I loved it. It was awesome. That is yeah, I would love that too. Yeah, but I'm so I'm in the bathroom and I see a pile of those bags in the corner on the floor, right? And I'm like, hmm. Apparently, you can open these up. So I start prying at it and everything, trying to trying to get it. And this. Oh, you this got to keep it. it. You got to hold on to it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. They put it in the neoprene bag, oh. and you still keep it. You just can't get into it to get your phone out, right? Oh. Yeah, and then as you're leaving, they got a ton of people lined up, and you just hold it out, click, and it's it's unlocked, and you go on your way. So it doesn't like hold you up or anything. Huh. And uh, but anyway, I'm in the bathroom, and I'm I'm just kind of messing with it, like prying it open. And this guy, he's like, "Give me that." I'm like, "Okay." So he grabs it, and he just starts biting into it. And I was like, <laughs> "You're like an animal, man." Oh yeah. So, he basically just ripped it open and handed me my phone and said, there you go. That's how you do it. I wish there was a way you could open the thing up without destroying it because I would have taken a dump in it, zipped it back up, and then walked out of the concert and handed it to me. Hey, can you open this, you bastards? Yeah, yeah. But, but it was 
I got to say, a lot of people bitched about the whole cell phone thing, and I thought it was great. I kind of wish they would do that at all concerts. I would have been I'm as so fucking I, sick of seeing them. I would have been as pissed off as that lady in uh, Canada that took a dump uh, on Q and Tim Hortons. I would have been so <laughs> pissed Hortons. off. I would have shit in that bag, sealed it up, and gave it back to them right on command. The angry shitter. We just went to uh, we just went to the House of Blues in Cleveland, Lauren and I, to see the Struts. One of the bands she really likes, and uh, we were in the we were up in the balcony, like the second tier balcony. And this lady that was in the seats in front of us, I swear she watched the whole she watched the whole show through her phone. Oh, like, I don't get that. With her back to the stage, like she was turning around so she could take like selfie, selfie shoot. Uh, see, that's like, that's a bit much. With the stage behind her, and like so, she basically watched didn't watch the show at all. She just watched videos on her phone the whole time. Mm-hmm. See, I learned my lesson before before smartphones became a big thing. I had gone to see a couple of Motley Crue shows. Motley Crue, they were probably the best live band I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of bands live. They just killed it every time. And the first time I went and saw them, I sat there with a camera in my hand. This is before, like I said, all the cell phones. And I took picture after picture after picture. And I got some awesome pictures, but I didn't really see the show. And the next time I went to see them, like the following year, just a few months later, I didn't take my camera, or I took it, maybe took one or two pictures, and it was awesome. Like, I remember that show so much more. I had so much more fun, because it was like, you know what? I'm here to enjoy the fucking show. Right. It was like, you- when we went to see Metallica, Big Ben, remember, like, you had your phone out for like 20, 30 seconds here to live stream, and then that was it. Yep. Like, we didn't do that shit. Dude, we well, well, the thing is... Most of the time. I know. I was gonna say you could even if you wanted to record, you wouldn't have because there the, it was the fighting, the shoving, the pushing. Yeah, I remember, yeah. I look over and like there's a fist, and it just, dude, it was the craziest thing. Hit his knuckle or what his finger, something just barely hit Germ's eye, and his freaking contact goes and just yeah, pops out. It right out, gone. So early on, we were like three songs into the show at that point. Germ starts. I could see. I it was like going back to high school, dude. I saw his face turn red, and I saw him red. I saw the veins pop, and he was just ready to freaking lose his mind. So I'm like, all right, man. I get everything. Make sure everything's in my pockets. I'm getting ready because I know he's gonna start swinging. And the second somebody throws something, I'm gonna just pop the. I'm just. Gonna, it's just. It was gonna be one of those kind of fucking nights, and I knew it. It was just like it's gonna happen. Yeah. I swung at a couple people, but I kept missing. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't fucking see. <laughs> that reminds me, yeah, I, I had a, a crazy night where I was, I won't tell the whole story, but I was just way, way too drunk. And I had like a whole house, I was at a party, a whole house, they were going to fight me. Um, and I was so drunk that I was ready to take off. I would have got my ass kicked. But at the time, I was so drunk, I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Uh, the whole house wanted to kick my ass. And I, I, was, gonna, I was ready to take them on. And then uh, a buddy of mine that was with me backed me off, cooled down the situation, and we were walking away. It was in the middle of the winter, bitter cold, uh, and then I get pissed off at him for pulling me away from the house from these people that wanted to – I was going to fight them all. So I went – I was now my anger is on him. I'm like, dude, why would you do that? I was ready to kick some ass. He's like, you were going to get your ass kicked, whatever, yeah. whatever he was saying. And I took a swing at him so hard. He was like, dude, if you would have connected with me, you would have knocked me out cold. But the problem was, is you swung and you were like six feet away from me. I couldn't tell how far away he was, man. I was getting double vision and all. It was just one of those yeah. nights. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I get, yeah, once once the switch gets flipped, I turn into a freaking rage monster. Mm-hmm. And that's how I was at that Metallica concert. Dude, it was like, man, I was ready to kill someone. Dr. I Jekyll, so Mr. Crazy. Hyde, I saw... I saw your face just like, and it was just, you were like the, you were like the Hulk ready, you were ready to Hulk out. You know, we've all three of us have gone to a concert together since we saw Nine Inch Nails and David Bowie, like, back in Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was 96, 97 time frame. Wow. That's right. I bet you I... 97, I was gone, so it was definitely before 97. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, I do remember that. That was pretty wow. fucking sweet. Yeah, that was a good show, Nine Inch Nails and David Bowie. That, that was. That was back in, that was with, like, Nine Inch Nails. That was in their prime, right? Yep. Like, mid-90s. They came, oh, David Bowie played, maybe. David maybe, Bowie came yeah. out and uh, did the duet with um, Trent Reznor. They did, they played. That's right. Reptile. Reptile, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, and I remember we were, 
We were smoking cloves at the time. Well, that's what we started smoking yeah. that day. And yes. then, I don't know who it was. Somebody was trying to roll up a joint. And it took it like been, forever to roll up a joint. I don't think we ever even got that thing rolled up. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> because people started jumping like around us, like kind of jumping, moshing around. And uh, <laughs> I kept, you were like down on like toward the ground. So Oh, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah. And you were trying to keep low to the ground and it kept bumping your shoulders, making you feel it. And you were yelling at him. You're like, funny. some respect, man. I'm trying to roll a joint. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, I like the idea of those too. We do got to figure out a, a, a reunion concert somewhere because, like, when Big Ted and I did the Metallica concert last year, that was a fucking blast. Dude. We hadn't seen each other since high school, right? I mean, that was the first uh, time we. No, we saw each other just after I had the. Uh, I was just out. Of, we were just out of high school. You must have been back on your first leave. Oh, that's right. That's right. You were you were in the uh, the house. Yeah. Uh, Yep, that was the, the palace. Yeah, the palace. So that would have been, it would have yeah, been like ninety eight. Yeah, yeah, you you must have been gone and then came back after six That's months, right. nine months, a year. Yeah. So, uh, but since then, that was dude ninety one. The cruising dude ninety one says he's new. Welcome, cruising dude. Cruising dude uh, ninety one. Hell yeah, Motley Crue. He said, uh, he looks like the bassist from the group. I'm not sure he's of Metallica. I don't know who he's talking about. Um, uh, probably. I think he was talking about the the picture, the uh, the the punk fiend picture that I had shown up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, said, yeah. he said when I was showing the picture there. And uh, I'm not. I'm not sure which one he's talking about. That looks like the bassist of Metallica. Hmm. I'd like to which know bass? which one he's talking about. Well, what, yeah, which bassist they've had three? Cliff, Jason, or uh, Robert. Yeah, I'd like to know. I'd like to know, but uh, sure. but yeah, I think that's who he was talking about there. And, uh, yeah. and I see that um, Cruising Dude says Motley Crue is a great band. Absolutely. I've seen Crue. Mm -hmm. Crue is awesome. Foul Chrome. The people think Crue, they think, uh, people who don't know, who've never really listened to them, they think, oh, they're just another typical 80s hair metal band. And they did the hair metal thing for a while, but holy shit, Mick Mars, the guitarist, that guy can fucking play. And and you don't, people don't know this, 90% of Motley Crue songs are actually blues. They just stay on the blues scale the whole time. It's, oh. all, it's fucking blues music, and they play it like metal. Dude, I found the absolute uh, most amazing cover of, I think it's Dire Straits. Uh, Money for Nothing? No, the other one, uh, Sultan, uh, Sultan of yeah, Swing. Sultan of Swing. Oh my God! It's a he it's a so hardcore heavy freaking it's a duet this guy and this chick, and it is the freaking most amazing cover I've ever heard of that song. Actually, it's the only cover I've ever heard of that song, but it's done very well. It's Sweet. freaking amazing, man. I'm gonna have to find it and just like I couldn't believe how good that is. It's just I'll, yeah, I'll show you I'll show you the link. Some dire straits. Dude, it's awesome. Like these two, they're pretty freaking talented. Like. He's got all yeah, all sorts of uh, he does a lot of covers and stuff. Anyways, I just I found that the other day and I was just like mesmerized. I keep playing and I'm like, damn, that's so freaking good. Just watching him play the solo, her play the solo. It's just well done. There's some impressive cover stuff on YouTube to the point where it almost uh, it just makes you want to cry. Just me from trying to play anything because I know I'm not even close. To I know. Way. I see it. and I'm just like, yeah. man, man, man. It makes me want to cry. I wish I had. A tiny bit of oh god, what is this still? Uh, that is the link. I, I just sent you to the link to the, the the fat guy that gets hit the nuts with the baseball bat. Oh god, he did it on what? The no. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Let's see. I'll see if I can play oh, this. Uh, I don't know if I deleted yeah, that. Oh, we got it. Okay. You guys are ready for this? I don't know what to expect uh, here. Oh, so today we thought we'd do America's favorite pastime. Baseball. We're gonna let this little leaguer. Oh. Oh. Wait. He just said, what did he just say? Coochie bear, I'm gonna I'm about to grand slam your nuts into outer space. This isn't Oh! 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 Oh!
stood in the can opener pose. about the grand slam your nuts in the outer space the world any offspring yeah oh my <laughs> god that just hurts thinking about it this yeah. how do you think he's he's got to be wearing a cup or something no, uh, that did not that there looked like no cup i mean i'll I be honest like, even well, even with a cup that would still hurt the cup is yeah. not a you're all. It's still gonna. There's a lot of force there, but I don't think he was wearing one, man. Damn. I I, I gotta think that crushed one of his balls, like at least one. I mean, uh, I don't know. I think I think if that's in the barrier right there. I mean, you're gonna have to, you're gonna do some damage with an aluminum ball back. My yeah. God. What are you it made me, thinking? It made, first time I saw it, it made me like almost throw up in my mouth a little bit. Right. Yeah. Ugh. I can't. I can't believe he didn't throw up. Well, he he writhed around on the ground for quite a while. That video goes on and on. Yeah, I want to know if he was selling it. All right. Maybe the kid tagged him on the inside of the leg. I'd have to slow it down and take a closer look. Should we watch the rest of it? Is it just him yeah. rolling around? It's just him rolling around, literally, for like another minute. Uh, okay. Whoever his buddy is that's uh, taking the video is, is laughing, but like, at him, which is appropriate. Oh. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that is a lot of damage. Well, hey, guys. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. We're going to, I'm going to, uh, uh. <laughs> Kids, <laughs> fucking herbs. Blunt. Uh, I don't. Is he like lifting his belly up? <laughs> uh, sure kids got a clean whack. Yeah, yeah, he does. He clears the path for the. <laughs> lifting his belly up to make sure the kids got a clear path. Does he? Yeah. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. This this kid's form is shit. He needs some. He needs some real work on his swing, man. But he's not going anywhere. Well, he probably doesn't get to practice a whole lot. I mean, I mean, you know, how often do you get to do that? Yeah. Right. I mean, it's mechanics. It's an easy fix. He's young. You can reteach him, but that swing is ugly. Mm. That kid's striking out at every tee ball game. Tee ball. God. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right, hey guys, I gotta run. I've got to get some sleep. I'm about to pass out here. All right. Hey, man. Well, I hope you hope better. And, yeah, uh, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get at it next week. Maybe we'll uh, we'll figure out. We'll maybe get together a couple days before we live stream. Figure out. Some yeah, things. one of the one of these times we'll get all of our shit in one sec. Maybe not. <laughs> we're we're just <laughs> great A slackers, I'm man. Bear who's got he's one nut short now, so uh, he's got one nut in his asshole now, right through <laughs> the back. God. Uh. So, Falcrome said, "What's up?" Before you leave, Falcrome, we saw Falcrum. you. Yeah, Falcrome. I think uh, after that uh, that video. Yeah. Sleep well, my yeah, right. <sighs> Fuck. Dude, that's some. That's right. brutal. We will catch you kids later. Thanks everyone for coming to watch, and we'll see you again next week. All right, catch you later, Jerm. See ya. All right. So uh, we'll keep the camera like this for a little. Actually, um, let's see if we can get Dave on here. We're going to see if I can get Dave on here to join us. Yeah, here you go. So, um, let me switch. Doing that, I'm looking in the live chat. Someone asked me what's the uh, the craziest thing I've seen in the Walmart. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I've only been there a few weeks, a month, something like that. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, I haven't seen too many crazy things uh, yet. Uh, I'm... I'm most everybody that comes into this Walmart, it's it's on the north side of town. Uh huh. It's, it's not very 
uh, uh, high uh, income area. It's a low income area. A lot of old people, man. Just a lot of old people come in. So it's usually just old people bitching daily is what I'm dealing with. Okay. Uh, most everybody else comes in, gets out, doesn't cause too much of a hassle. Um, I haven't seen anything quite strange yet, but, uh, you know, cross my fingers, holding out hope. I know there will be more to report. That guy today that I helped show up for was a pretty uh, pretty interesting cat with his uh, – There he is. Camp. With his, with his stories from Korea, which, uh, you know, I know Korea was a real, uh, call it the Forgotten War, mm -hmm. real fucked up situation, so I'm sure he saw some real major shit. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he comes in and tells me some more stories on Mondays. Oh, I can't wait. You, did, you there, Dave? I think you can hear me. I yeah. Don't know. Yeah, we can hear, I can hear you. Ah, oh, slick. For once, Facebook isn't screwing up. <laughs> What's going on, man? Just got home from work. I literally had beers in the fridge just for your streams. Sweet. That's <laughs> you have stream. You have stream beer, dude. That's how you know you've made it in life. Is when somebody has beer in their fridge just for your live stream. I can. Dude, I'm gonna start labeling my beers in my fridge like that. I'm gonna label it with scotch tape or uh, painters tape. Just be like stream beers. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Nobody uh, touched. These are my stream beers. So, Dave, um, we'll play it again real quick. You probably didn't see it, and it's going to be a delay. Actually, can you see us on the uh, camera, Dave, even though yours is off? Yeah, I can see your cameras. You can see me right here and <laughs> Stu? Yeah. Perfect. Tell you what, I'm going to play a video, and I don't know. Did you see the cactus video? I did not see the cactus video. I uh, saw the baseball bat video. Okay, so the cactus video. I'm going to play it for uh, for you, and I'll play it for anybody else who may have missed it. Stop and buy, man. We'll see you soon. I'll come back next week. Oh, he's le who's leaving? Yeah, he's got to go too, he said. So, uh, who? Dave, Dave said that's a golf swing, a Michael Jordan swing. That kid put the golf, he, he put a Michael Jordan golf swing on uh, Coochie Bear's balls. Oh, Coochie Bear. Mm, damn. But, he, he, but Randy said, but Randy said, he missed the sack and hit his hand. So I'm going to definitely have to rewind this, zoom it in, and watch it in slow motion. It does make a nice cracking sound, which I wouldn't think a sack would make. It pops. And which makes me think uh, he's wearing a cup. Pops. Don't use that word. That's a terrible word <laughs> to use when you're talking about hitting somebody in the nuts. But I think he's... <laughs> that's, I, that's a good point. <laughs> I think he's wearing a cup. I honestly... The worst word you could use... In association to a smack to the nads, you'd be like, yeah, "Did you hear it? It popped!" Oh. Like, oh God, that's that's the last thing you want to hear. Popped and drained. Mm. Okay. I mean, I'll be legitimately honest. I'm surprised it didn't literally just fall out of his nut sack and tear open. Well, I was... like a skateboarder when he falls on a rail. Oh. The scrotum, the scrotum is uh is resilient. It's a resilient. No, body. it's not. It is not resilient. Maybe yours is. Mine is not resilient. Scrotum's built to take damage. There's a reason. There's a reason your balls are hidden in there. Scrotum is built for maximum punishment. No, no, it's bat. not. Let me tell you. Not like a cat. A cat has nine lives. My ball sack has one life. Okay, and I protect that thing. I will protect that to death. I can tell you from personal experience that your ball sack has two lives. Because I still had a kid, and I only have one working nut. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And that's coming from a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Say, say, snip, 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 snip. Yeah, no working nuts. Okay. I shut down the shop. <laughs> All right. You guys, we'll talk about more nutsack damage later. We'll go right back to that. But, Dave, right now we're going to talk about cactus damage. All right? You ready? Let's go for it. Okay, let me switch this around here. All right, let's see some cactus damage. Oh, God. Pull it out a little bit. Hi, my That's name is Mitch, and last week <laughs> I ate a cactus. Fuck, 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 fuck. Holy fuck. Oh, no. Um, oh, my God. Fucking <laughs> um, but I thought that wasn't stupid enough, so this is the flaming cactus challenge. We have beers for safety. Um... <laughs> You don't eat that. This cactus is already soaked in Grandpa's famous moonshine. I'll have a little more. I 
took the one take because I can't even match the light. The memo that you're not supposed and to here we go. Out. Flaming yeah. Cactus Challenge. I assume no responsibility if you're dumb enough to try oh, this. I love that right there. I assume no responsibility if you're dumb enough to try it. <laughs> I'm actually watching this through the stream on YouTube because it's actually less blurry. Oh, okay. Facebook sucks. Alright, so I can put this down. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I just realized it. The winner? Doesn't the yeah. loser have to drink out of a shoe? No, it's the winner. I'm I, pretty I, sure. I know. The loser has to drink out of if the, if the winner has to drink out of a shoe, what the fuck's the loser got? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. The winner gets yeah, to drink out of a shoe. <laughs> Jesus. That's funny. Edward's like, how? Oh, what did I just come into? I just came in and saw some guy drinking from a stinky shoe. <laughs> Edward, man, you got to go back and watch. Oh, my God. You know, the problem with eating the cactus isn't the fact that you ate it. It's, it's you got to shit that out. Your body now has to process the cactus. Like, Ooh. your body isn't equipped to process a fucking cactus, bro. I want to know what happens. with it? No. I want to know what happened to that dude's colon. I was just going to say that. Like, is that going to be worse than a spicy pepper? Is that going to be worse than Chipotle? I would think so because I've eaten Chipotle many a times and I'm still alert around, but I'm not shitting out prickly pear fucking needles. This That's... is what I'm going to say about this fucking guy drinking, eating cactus. He's drinking bush. That should tell you all you need to know That's... about the kind of guy this is. He's drinking bush. That's true. He's drinking... He's drinking Jarred moonshine, it's only about, I think that moonshine is only about 80%. I mean, I'm really, really, really sick off of 40%, so, like, I can't even imagine 80. Hey, What's Cruising that? Dude 91, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Join us again next week. Oh, uh, okay. All right, guys. Yeah, that's the same stuff I had then. I, uh, I bought that moonshine stuff once, and I will never buy it again. Got a ton of sugar in it. The way they've oh, jarred the sugar. It was the fact that I liked how it tasted and I just chugged it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That'll well, put a freaking hurt on you. Um it was yeah, it was the apple pie moonshine. Yep. I had that a few times. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go upstairs and grab another beer. Yep. I'm out. So you guys hold down shop. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. No promises. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, this, so yeah, this guy, I mean, that's eating this cactus. Now he's got a, his body's got to process this cactus. He's eventually got to pass this cactus. So I want to know what that. I want to see the video of his bathroom trip directly after eating the cactus. I don't think that's something I want to see, but I mean, to each their own. I would, I would watch it with both eyes open. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even squint. I would just, I would want to see it that badly. 
I want a camera in the toilet because I want to see how bad it is. <laughs> I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The last time that I saw you on one of Joe's streams, you started watching midget porn afterwards because Joe knew a midget porn star off the top of his head. <laughs> this isn't the place to judge me, bro. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> This is, this is not the place to judge people. This is an open forum. We accept all kinds here. Uh, <laughs> you know, Joe was talking about crazy bitch stories last night, and I want to bring one up once he comes back because oh, I think he'll get a kick out of I'm it. I'm back right now. That's right. We were supposed to talk about crazy chick stories. Um, we kind of didn't do that. I, you know, I was going to look up. I was going to try to find some videos that kind of fell along that same theme. Crazy bitch stories, crazy chicks, drunken, crazy, tweaking shit. I couldn't find anything that just made me laugh my balls off. So I kind of. You got to go on Pornhub. Pornhub? I'm just kidding. Don't do that. You'll, the tweaking is usually because of too much protein. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dave, I'm, try, I'm trying to find something that's. Uh, I'm trying to find something that's YouTube friendly. <laughs> so, but yeah. yeah no, you so, were talking about swearing less last night, and here I am talking about protein. Uh, that's all good. Uh, so let's hear your crazy chick story, because um, you were right. you were telling me a little bit last week. I or the week was it last week or the week before? That was the one with my ex fiance that I was telling you about with, with the, the whole tattoo? thing with the. Super anal surprise, as I like to call it. <laughs> uh, the pepper's out. That's probably a good thing. I'm willing to eat hot peppers. Uh, gotta go, guys. It was nice hanging out with y'all. Have a uh, good night. And hope. And I hope the update drops tomorrow morning. Oh, I gotta bring my iPad. Speaking of that, I gotta bring my iPad to work, just in case it drops while I'm at work. That's a good point. Because... There's nothing worse than working while you're at work. I want to be able to download and play Racing Rivals, damn it. I was actually playing Racing Rivals while I was at work today. And I have, I've had that downloader thing that I have that gets all the files from the server. Yeah. It's been running for like 48 hours now. now and you, it's still not done. Are you getting There's new files? files that I've downloaded and haven't gone through yet. Are you getting new files or are these old? Or? So far, everything's the old stuff. I think they have a new server for 7.0. Uh, uh oh, what's that because like? Because I told them of a security leak that uh, I discovered that Daniel obviously doesn't want me to give details of, but uh, I think eventually, um, or once 7.0 drops, it'll be a new server. Okay. For all the assets okay. and stuff like that, which means I can just do the same thing again and get uh, the information. Ignore that last. Ignore that last thing I said to him. Oh. Okay. So. All right, Dave, story time. All right, story, story, story time. Story so, time. the crazy girl. Um, I, I kind of hinted at it in the Cheers. chat last night with you. Uh, the whole thing with, like, the ankle bracelets. Mm. Um, so I'll start at the beginning. I met this girl online, and you know that's already a bad idea. Uh, I met this girl online, was talking to her for, like, six months. I gotta tell you. Well, um, I, well, at least I thought I knew her pretty well. Any relationship yeah. that starts online, I'll say ninety-five percent of them are. Mm, I don't know, how do good. I put it? Yeah. How do I put it nice? I can't put you it don't. nice. <laughs> you just don't put it. Nice. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing nice. I mean, I've I've met a lot of people from the internet, and when it comes to the girls that I've met, it's some of the freakiest people on the planet oh yeah i went to see a movie with this one girl in kent ohio she was going to the college there oh yeah that's where i went she had like a major blood fetish is what she told me after we saw the movie a major what blood fetish yeah blood fetish and what we went to see hopefully it's her blood movie, that movie unfriended which is a super gory movie and uh. she was like there were things going on in the seat next to me, and I was just ignoring her because it was so gross. It, it was just bad. But uh, the girl that I was talking about with the ankle bracelets, that <laughs> one's the fun one. Um, so I met the girl, and like we talked for about six months before I was even willing to try to hang out with her. And uh, so I went and I hung out with her, and she told me, oh, yeah, it's fine. My mom will know you're coming. Um, she still lived with her mom. She was like 19 years old at the time. I was like 22, so it wasn't a huge age gap. It wouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Um, 
I went to hang out with her, and she was really nice. She was cool. And uh, all of a sudden, like, three o'clock rolls around, and she's like, oh, crap, my mom's home. And her mom's pulling into the driveway, and she's like, I need to hide you. I was like, oh, God, this is going to go to – this is going south. Um, so she, <laughs> I need to hide oh, you. Yeah, she put me in her room, and she put me in her closet. And then she closed the door to her closet. Her closet was tiny, like really tiny. And uh, when she put me in her closet, she closed the door and expected me to just, like, stay there. And then um, she went out and uh, told her mom, oh, I'm not feeling good. I could hear it through the walls. I'm not feeling good. I'm going to stay in my room for a while. Then she came back into the room, and, like, she started, like, trying to mess around with me while I was in the closet with her mom home with her door shut. And that went on for a good, like, two and a half hours. Um, and I finally, like, her bedroom was on the first floor. So I, I waited. And I was just like, all right, it's finally dark enough. It sounds like her mom's in her room upstairs. Things are going to be all right. I'll just jump out the window. And I told her that. I was like, stay here. I'm going to head out. I'll message you later. So I jumped out the window and ran for my car, which was right across the street from the house, unlocked the door, started to get in my car, and I realized she was in the car next to me. She was in my passenger seat. I didn't even know she followed me. She closed her window and everything, followed me out. She was like, let's go to the park up the street. And I was like, all right, fine, you know what, whatever. We can keep hanging out. She probably told her mom she's going to the park or something. Is she sitting right next to you with a knife still? No, she wasn't with a knife, but she was... <laughs> I'm just saying, she sounds like she could be one of those girls. She definitely could have been, but uh, it gets really good. So we're hanging out at the park. Uh, one of those girls on Snapped or whatever that show is. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know what show you're talking about. That's the truth. But uh, we're hanging out at the park. I have a, I have, I always have a basketball in my trunk. So we're playing basketball, and uh, six cop cars roll up. I'm like, oh, no, this is going to be for us, isn't it? And I was right. They walked over, and they looked at her, and they were like, hey, is your name Courtney? And she's like, yeah. And she said, or, and they asked her, do you have your ID on you? And she pulled out her ID, and they proved it was her. And she was actually 19, thank God. Um, <laughs> and then they walked over to me and asked for my ID. I gave it to them. And then they pulled her aside, and her mom had pulled up with the cops. And, like, they dragged her over to her mom and all that. And, like, her mom was pissed. You could hear her mom just yelling at the cops, just screaming fuming about everything that was going on and the cops started asking me questions like how well do you know courtney how um like how long have you been talking to her well i've she known her for about two and a half hours in the closet i got to know her pretty well <laughs> exactly like i told them i knew her i've known her for like six months i've known of her existence is basically how i worded it like an idiot because i don't know how to talk to cops right um huh. i've known her for like six months we decided to hang out today because we've known each other for a while um, I pretty much just know that her name is Courtney. She's 19 years old and her favorite color is blue and told them all the stuff that I knew about her. And they were like, so do you know about her history? And I was like, what history? She just told me that her mom's a bitch and doesn't let her go out <laughs> of the house and do anything. Oh, and I man. was just too stupid to believe it. Or I was too stupid and I believed it. So the cops really started to realize I had no idea what was going on and they started to unload everything on me. Ever since she was 12 years old, she had been meeting guys online and going to this park to hang out with them and stuff like that. Okay. So what ended up, what was actually going on was she was on house arrest until she was 21. She had ripped off her ankle bracelet the day before. They didn't realize it because the sensor didn't go off because it malfunctioned when she ripped it off. And uh, she just basically like hit it in her bedroom and her mother noticed after we left. Um, because the cops reported that the ankle bracelet had moved all day. So uh, basically, they were telling me all this and how she's met up with like guys that are as old as 55, 60 years old and hung out with them and stuff like that and just all this stuff. And then I told them about me being in the closet at their house and like I wanted to apologize to the mother. The mother didn't believe that I had no idea what was going on. But uh, so she was trying to get them to arrest me. She was trying to want to press charges. And like the cops calmed her down and told her, we can tell 100% that this kid's telling the truth and has no idea what's going on. Well, even yeah. still, what, what law would you have broken? So since she had an ankle bracelet and was on house arrest, I could have been charged with helping her basically like escape from having the ankle bracelet. 
So I guess I don't know what happened to her after that because I didn't talk to her again, like at all. But uh, every so often, even now, it's like four or five years later, um, I'll go through and I'll just add everybody that adds me on Snapchat and things like that just to see who they are and then I'll remove people. She adds me on Snapchat still to this day and she'll like text me whenever she gets a new phone number. And like the last time she sent me anything on Snapchat, uh, was probably about six and a half months ago. She sent me over 15 things before uh, I added her. They're all like naked photos of her pregnant. She was like, oh, I wish this was your kid. Dude, and stuff like that. you and send her my, her I don't have a Snapchat, but if I did, you'd send her my Snapchat, right? No, <laughs> I don't wish this girl on anyone. <laughs> she is nuts. I wish she finally got house, house arrest, but like, I, I don't want anything to do with her. But she adds me still, and then I'll go through and I'll block her, and she'll probably add me again sometime soon when she realizes she's blocked. Ah, uh, is she in the area? Because that this sounds like a party chick, man. Pregnant or she no? Moved not out of Florida last that I uh, talked to her. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Oh, maybe she'll find somebody nice in Florida to harass. There's so I mean, many nice people she in Florida. Nice. She's pregnant. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but she wishes it was yours. Yeah, no thanks. I don't want anything to do with her. But yeah, that's uh, who says that? That's crazy thought. Who, who just says, yeah, like, I'm pregnant. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. I wish it was your baby. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. I was just like, this is ridiculous. And it's been like four years, and she's still adding me on Snapchat and trying to talk to me and trying to hang out with me. Oh, I'll be I'll be back up in Ohio in three months. We should hang out and mess around. No, you pushed a child out of that thing. I don't want to go anywhere near that hallway. <laughs> oh, no, they go, they go back to, well, whatever normal size is, like that, I think, something. Hey. <laughs> They, they got more bounce back than balls. Yeah, they do. They the other guy's do. balls. <laughs> <laughs> Vaginas are more elastic than the scrotum on a cold day. Holy oh, yeah, that's shit. The craziest girl I've ever known or ever met and gone to hang out with was, long story short, a girl who had an ankle bracelet who ripped it off and used me to try to get out of her house and run away. Yeah. And it's, I, uh. I really we got Mr. You're Craig Wood. Craig's in the house. That's just ridiculous. Frank yeah, wants to know it. Always says Craig Wood. Frank, Don't knock it till you try it. Like like a hot dog down a hallway, like feeding a tip tac to a whale. Frank says time to fist her. Time to. <laughs> I'll just shove the baby back in because she wants it so badly from me. What's up, Craig? That reminds me of a story. That reminds me of a story that uh. Somebody who work with somebody who I work with was telling me there was there's, apparently there's this girl at work and uh, he he knows one of the people she's been with and the guy was telling a story about being with her and he said she's real freaky you know and uh, he says he said he's like she she was like having him fist her and all this stuff he said he was up to his elbow <laughs> and, and then afterwards she says <laughs> she said. She looked at him and said, now I want you to fuck me. And uh, he looked at her and said... What do I use? With what, he said. <laughs> with what, my leg? Yeah. <laughs> my, my Prius? What are you asking for here? I'm not sure at this point. Oh, that's one of those. I've heard somebody make that joke where, like, oh, you shoved your arm so far up there, you turned her into a ventriloquist puppet. <laughs> that's a baby Frank says. Jesus. <laughs> Too bad, Craig. Craig says he's trying to watch porn, but our voices are making it weird. I mean, we could moan for you, Craig. <laughs> that might that might just make it a little bit, just a little bit more weird. Legs. Every time he moves, he whines. Let me put the microphone next to his head. I can't. <laughs> It'll sound a little better. Oh God. So I gotta figure out what's going on this week. I might actually drive. Me and me and Frank, we live streamed last night. We were talking about. Uh, he lives in Jersey. I'm here in Mass, and we might just drive and and we'll probably meet up somewhere in Connecticut and have beers. That's awesome. Right here. Frank the Tank. You've gone farther to meet up for beers, pretty much. Yeah. 
<laughs> done in Europe. <laughs> well, that wasn't exactly. Williamsport. Williamsport was a nice help. That was. Oh was my great. God, dude, Dave. We freaking okay. So I'm here in Mass. He's in Ohio. And we meet. It's about a halfway location. It was was it was William Ports, Pennsylvania. Was that it? Williamsport, the home of the Little League World Series. Is that what it was? How do you remember that shit? I don't remember that. Absolutely, World Series every year. It's on ESPN. I don't remember. Who watches that shit? So we we go to we drink we drive to Williamsport. <laughs> But let's not ask those kind of questions on this on this program. This is a healthy, family friendly program. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. Who yeah. watches little leaguers play baseball every year? Fuck that. Um. So we go to Williamsport, man, and we meet up at this bar. It's what is it? It's an old prison, right? That's yeah. It's called, it was called the uh, cell block. What was it called? The cell block. Cell block. Yeah. And it's an old prison that's turned into a huge freaking nightclub. Uh, it's not a huge prison. It's like an old jailhouse. Yeah, okay. It's so it's not a huge prison. It's like a jailhouse, brick, block. And you know, they had stone. they had like crazy, like, what was it? Like $5 pictures of like Jack Daniels or something. And Jesus. You could buy yeah, like... I forget what it was. It was just, the prices were dirt freaking cheap, dude. We just got loaded there. It was great. So that was the uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the night we got the pizza delivery guy to take us back to our hotel. Yeah. So <laughs> That's awesome. well, no, well, the bar. I don't remember. The bar closes like at two or three or something. So we were like, you know what? We were, dude. We were hammered, but we were like, we were planning ahead. We're like, you know what? The bar doesn't close for like two, three hours or an hour, whatever it was. We're going to call ahead for a cab. And we're going to, you know, that way when the bar closes, there's a cab out front. We hop in the cab. We go. So we call. Uh, did you call? You called, Stu, right? <laughs> yeah, I called. That was so, a mistake. Yeah, so, well, S Stu called. He, 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 got a, he got a cab. And we the bar closes. And we're freaking, we can barely walk. Uh, we go out and we see there's like a whole freaking line, 20, 30 cabs. And we're like, oh, shit, man. Like, apparently we're not the only one who did this. So we're dumbasses. We should have just grabbed a cab and just gone, you know. But we were hammered. So we're like, we're looking for our cab. We're going to knock it on all the cabs. Hey, is, is this our cab? And they, no, no. Is this ours? No, no. Find it. They're all fucking gone. Every single cab, dude. We're standing there like in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania hammered we're like eight miles away from our freaking uh hotel we're like what the fuck dude so well no choice but the freaking hike it there was like what like six or seven of us yeah there was uh one six me four seven, five yeah, seven including jeremy six streeter amanda you, Adrian, me, Lauren, and, uh, and Jeremy. Yeah, okay. And I don't know what I argued with. I ag argued with the cab dispatch. Oh, he calls up. You know, yes. I got in a fight with the cab dispatch. <laughs> I was like, well, where's our... We called like an hour ago. He said, well, we're busy. And I said, yeah, I understand that, but there's like 30 cabs out here. We can't just catch one of these cabs. You got like to call it an hour ago. And she got snippy with me, so I got snippy back. So then... <laughs> I had Adrian. Remember, Adrian called after that she, to the same cab. And she's the worst liar in the world. So she calls and she's the like, The lady asks her, Are you with the guy that just called? And she says, Yeah. And the lady hung up on her. <laughs> she's like, so Are we you? Had to, like, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out something. We'll walk down the street a ways and then we'll call just the fucking do back or call somebody else. I walked and this further. Is before Uber and Lyft were a thing. And even if Uber and Lyft were a thing, they we wouldn't have picked us up. Uh, Pennsylvania, so I doubt they would have had it. Uh, we see this. It was a Domino's guy, right? No, Papa John's. No, it was a Papa John's guy. Papa right. John's to and the he rescue. Was a I'm like, let's go talk to this. This Papa, he's got a minivan. He's across the way. Guy. He's across he the says, way. Yeah, we told him. I said, "Why? Well, like, we tell you twenty bucks. Can you take us back to our hotel?" And he says, uh, "I got one better." You give me 20, 30 bucks, I give you a ride back to the hotel, and 
you have all you can have all this pizza and all these wings that I have. Shots of uh, Fireball. Jack. No, I thought it was Fireball. No, his minivan had no seats. There were no seats in the minivan. It, it was, was like the like rape van, we all, like jammed into like Mexican immigrants. And, and he, <laughs> dude, he kept showing up. He's like, check out it. He's like, check out my girlfriend, dude. He must have been how old? He must have been 30s. He was in his 30s, okay, late 30s. He and Early to mid thirties. Rough. We're talking rough thirties. Not a nice looking thirty, but a rough thirty. Like he got beat a lot as a kid. All right. <laughs> the ugly shovel did not play nice. No, he climbed the ugly like, tree, fell, and hit every branch on the way down. Like, come on, every guy you've ever seen deliver pizza that's been over twenty two is pretty rough. Like, <laughs> life is not yeah. So. He comes back to the, well, before we even get back to the hotel, he starts showing us, he's like, check out my girlfriend. And he's passing his phone around to all of us back there. And we're looking at his phone and this girl must have been, dude, I'm guessing she was, it was hard pressed that she was older than 18. Oh boy. And she's where, was she wearing like an American flag? <laughs> I don't even remember that. Part. I swear she was wearing an American flag, like swimsuit or something and we're looking at this dude and it's like she's like he's like he's all proud like he's banging this freaking this 18 year old freaking hussy and he's going on and on and i'm like just looking at this dirty dude and i'm just like oh my god we're about to eat this guy's pizza like i don't know what he did to this pizza but i don't know if i should eat this man this guy looks dirty he came back we gave him shots we ate his pizza ate his wings <laughs> that was a good time. That was a pretty good time. In the hotel room, we should eat the accommodations were terrible. Uh, oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, we had a great time. We went to that nice uh, casino riverboat. There was like three levels on that bar. It was like the bottom floor was a live music club, so there were bands on stage. Uh huh. The middle, uh, the, the second floor was like a. Uh, uh, like a cocktail lounge kind of feel, or no, that was the top floor. It was kind of a cocktail lounge feel, and then the the middle part was like a dance club. So I only yeah, remember you had the best of, you had the best of all worlds, really, in one spot. It wasn't too bad. There's only two places in that uh, that whole time, that whole night. There's only two places I remember. One was some sort of like balcony terrace we were sitting on. Yeah, and that then, was the top floor of the cell. And then the other one, the only other thing I remember was a long hallway with all the jail cells down the way. Where and we took all those pictures. Yeah, yeah, we took pictures of me grabbing your nuts and all sorts of shit. Kind of afraid to meet you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you shouldn't be afraid. It's a, it's, it's a, you know what, I'll come too. Dude, we'll just, stew, we'll <laughs> stew. You so, money, right? I don't know if you put the oh, connection. Hell, no. I got a child. I don't have any money. Dave. Oh, that's no excuse. I got two kids. I just, you know, take their money. So, Stu, I don't know if you put the, made the connection, but this is Dave that was going to meet us for the Indians game. And then he, uh, it was when we were in, when we were in uh, last year? yeah, when we went last year and we were in Cleveland, that Dave was going to meet us. We were, he was going to meet us there, but he, it was, um, it was Mother's Day. So he was like, fuck you, I'd rather hang out with my mom. My mom's close enough to the six feet under part, so I think I'm good. <laughs> she would have she would have waited. <laughs> Edward says, This stream is entertaining. Who's the pivot man? Um The Pivot Man. Who's the pivot man? What's the pivot man there? Craig? Who's the pivot man? Is that like a, me in the animated thing you put over my uh, spot? Or is this a dirty term? Because this is Craig. Craig uses a lot of dirty terms. That's yeah, the pivot, man, the pivot man is definitely. Uh, is he the meat in between the in the in between the bread? The pivot man. Got <laughs> to be an urban dictionary thing. Uh, what's going on, Edward? Edward's in, uh, Phoenix, man. It must be, uh, pretty nice there, huh? Uh, so it's like an Oreo cookie, depending on, uh, yeah. the situation. Yeah. 
For no, it's the uh, it's the guy who stands inside a circle jerk. Oh, that's the uh, the according to Urban Dictionary, that's the pivot man. That's terrible. Oh my god. There's a guy who stands <laughs> in the center. Yeah, you couldn't pay me to do yeah, that. You stand in the center of a circle jerk. You're the pivot man. All right, that's it. We're done. I'm out of here. I can't handle this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this just went too far. I thought midgets were too far. Oh my uh, god! Circle jerks. Midgets. So gonna, you know what I'm gonna do uh, this week is I'm gonna look for uh, specific videos from yes. Walmart. Since I work at Walmart, and I forget who asked me what's the strangest or craziest thing I've seen at Walmart, and I haven't been there very long. But I'm sure that YouTube is chock full of uh, look. You know, uh, on Facebook, look up the page People of Walmart. Ninety-five percent of the posts are the uh, Cleveland Steel Yard Common to Walmart. If you want five percent of the posts, yeah, that's where that uh, Facebook page started with Steel Yard Commons. In no Cleveland, shit. Ohio. All right. Yeah, Steel yeah. Yard is where I dreams also, go to die. Uh, I also want to go and uh, I, I don't know now that it's warm enough and it's God, it's really warm. Uh, I'm going to go down to Roger Sale Pig. Oh and, um, my God. I'm going to see if I can get some interviews with some vendors down there. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I'm hoping to run into, I don't know if he'll do an on, if he'll do an on video interview, but I wouldn't mind if I could get Virgil. From the, the WWE. WWE. Virgil, yeah, he used to be the valet for a uh, million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. He sells merch okay. down there. And I, I, if I could get a 10 minute, 10 minute, oh. uh, you know, conversation with him on video. That'd be Dude, that'd be but badass. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty money hungry, so I don't know. He might, he might charge me. So, having said that, anybody wants to donate for an interview with <laughs> the WWE? What's up, Peyton? Formerly, formerly uh, the valet of Ted DiBiase, million dollar uh, man. There we go. Yeah, it's on my. Chat. It's on my list right here. Walmart. That'll be our topic for next week. Did you say, Dave, that was Cleveland what? Uh, the Steelyard Commons. Steelyard Commons. Yeah, people of Walmart, Steelyard, Ohio. Well, Steelyard Commons is the name of the area, hmm. the shopping plaza thing. Yeah, I would – you you would love the Roger Sale as well, by the way. You've never – it's just a big – it's a huge flea market. We call it the Dirt Ball Mall. Dirt Ball Mall. So – the Dirt Ball Mall is only open on uh, Fridays. Yep. We have something like that here. That was the yeah, place to go when we were kids. You could buy everything from garbage pail kids to butterfly knives to explosives to beef jerky. Yeah. It's a one-stop shop. Yeah. Yeah. Amish donuts, you know, carny food, I uh, football jerseys, I kitchen sinks. You could get, you could get, oh my God, dude, you could get any Donald Trump um, bootleg shirt you want. <laughs> True story. Uh, Peyton Schmidt, Peyton Schmidt here. Literally favorite YouTube star, Big Ben. You are, you are the favorite. I don't know why, man. I'm just your average guy, but I appreciate it. That's awesome, man. I appreciate you hanging out on this Tuesday evening. Craig was like, uh, that's not Germ. I picked up that today. Yeah. So, Craig, yeah, Dave um, joined us after Germ left. Germ was here for a good 30 minutes. He um, had a rough weekend. He needed some sleep. I think that means his wife was mad at him, and he had to go perform duties. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's code for I gotta go. Between the lines. I'm trying. I'm not very good at reading between the lines, man. I'm I'm a very direct person. Like I tell my wife, I tell her, I say, listen, if you want me to do something, tell me. Hey, you fucking asshole, you douchebag, go do this. Because if you hint around, it I'll never. It will not register. I will not understand. I don't take hints very well. I'm a direct person. If you think I stink like shit, don't go. P.U., man, something's something's a little funky. No, just say, you stink, man. You stink. You smell like shit. Go take a shower. Rick, hey, Rick Germ. <laughs> $1.99 for the 
guys. Rest in peace, Germ. Rest oh, in peace. Missed, I think Craig thinks your wife's going to murder you in your sleep. Rest in... Hopefully there's a good time before that. Um, Look at that. I'm going to... I gotta crop this. I gotta take this. I gotta send this to uh We're gonna send this to Germ. What the screenshot? Yeah, I just took a screenshot. I don't okay, know. What's uh let's see, Walmart Wi Fi. Oh god. Walmart Wi Fi? Is that Edward? Yeah. What Only am I? He remembers Jimmy's one stop shop. Jimmy's one stop shop, yeah. That was a topic a uh, long, long time ago, man. That must have been a year, year and a half ago. It was a little, I think it was in Florida. A little shop in Florida had gator nuts or something. Gator balls. Right. Gator testicles. That just. Hey. Man, I have really lived under a rock. I didn't know you could buy this stuff. Oh, you not only can you buy them, but you can eat them. Oh. <laughs> what are we talking about? Gator balls. Oh, yeah. 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 I've had gator jerky. They have that out in Geneva, Ohio. There's another fun place we could all meet up. Geneva on the lake. I used to live out there. Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> I wish I still had it. My other phone, it was in my other phone, and I never saved it anywhere I should have. But uh, like a few years ago, my birthday, uh, I took the weekend off, and uh, uh, my girlfriend was like, Good, "You like, what do you want to do?" I said, "I wasn't sure." So came to it came to Friday, like, "All right, what do you want to do?" I said, "I don't know." I said, "Let's just uh, get in the car and go, like." go we'll figure out what direction we're going so we just get in the car and start we start driving we go north so we keep driving north i'm like you know what let's just go up to the lake so we go to geneva on the lake for my birthday we hadn't planned to get a hotel or anything so uh we get to geneva on the lake it's a nice weekend my birthday's in august so it's real busy up there and oh, wow. uh we start looking for a hotel right there on on the little strip you know mm -hmm. and uh <laughs> Most of those places, you know, like they're like fishing cabins or, uh, uh, you know, old camp, like old type of, type hotel rooms. But so we we walk down this one driveway to this one place, and this guy comes out to greet us in the driveway, and he's covered in red paint. I don't know what he was painting, but it looked like he had just murdered somebody. Oh God. Probably and, did. Uh, like, yeah, we're, like uh, we're talking, and we're interested in, you know, maybe getting a room for the night. He said, oh, you need to talk to the captain. I was like, the captain? He's like, yeah, you need to call, talk to the captain, come on this way. You know, he takes us back to this little house. And I'm thinking it's like an office, you know, like you would find in a small hotel, like a kind of homey little office. No, it was like a house. Like, he took us in this door. We were standing in this guy's kitchen. We walked up a set of steps into his living room. He's sitting in a recliner in a pair of shorts and a robe watching TV. What? Yeah. He said, he said, you guys are interested in a room. And at this point, I start to panic. I'm like, I'm not getting a room here, but now we're already in here. What do I say? And I'm like, oh, yeah, for uh, for next week, we're thinking about coming back. Um, we're not staying today, which was a complete lie. But I was like, maybe for next week. I was like, yeah, like this is getting used for fishing cabins. And I was like, oh, you know, and he talks to us for a minute about the rooms. And I said, so you were, uh, were you in the Navy? You were a Navy captain? And he was like, huh? I said, they call you the captain. Were you a Navy man? He's like, no, I wasn't. And he never offered any more after that. It was just like, I don't know why they called him the captain. But maybe what? he's a captain. I don't know. But we ended up leaving there. It was a very, the whole place smelled like fish, by the way. Very scary. Mm. But Geneva's a fun place. Oh yeah. oh yeah, you know. Next time I want to go somewhere and I feel like smelling like fish and sitting on the edge of my seat, I might as well go to Geneva. It sounds like a wonderful place. They hmm. had this. Uh, we went to the Firehouse Winery for dinner. And Dave, you got to the Firehouse Winery. Oh yeah, a couple yes. times when I lived out there. So we went there. It was an evening. The sun.
sun started to set over the lake. So, look, if we wanted to get a picture in front of the, the Ferris wheel there, they had that small Ferris wheel. Right. And, uh, that thing's so, rickety. Don't ride it. No, well, I wasn't riding it. I just wanted a picture. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are pussies. We grabbed, we grabbed this guy. Like, I would have rode like, that thing like, hard. The Ferris wheel. He's like, oh, okay. You know? Dude, like, it's kind of dark, so I'm not paying attention to what he's doing. We're, like, standing in front of the Ferris wheel, and he's trying to get the sunset in the background. He snaps a couple pictures. He's like, I think I got it. He gives me my phone back. I look at my phone. It's pictures of his face. <laughs> like, he took the... He had to look at the camera. He turned around. So I had pictures of this just random dude. Instead of pictures of us, I just had some random dude. Nice. Pictures of my phone. Well, I wish I still had Ah oh, man, so man, Stu, I can't wait till you guys come up this uh, summer. Oh, it's gonna be it'll be here soon now. I mean, it's almost June already, so you know, it's like what? Uh, I gotta tell you something, man. I gotta make you feel bad. Make me feel bad. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we had the original dates set up, right? And I can't remember what they were. You remember we had original? Uh, we were coming up. We were coming up on the fourth. We couldn't do it though. Yeah, so we kind of jumped the gun. We bought concert tickets. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a Mount Snow is up here, and there's a concert up there with um. Uh, I, I, there's a bunch of fucking people. Um, like uh, Sublime with Rome. It's like a huge, not not quite a reggae fest, but Sublime with Rome's there. Um, who's the fucking Dirty Heads, Dirty Heads are there, and um, you know that guy, that Jewish guy, Mata Yahoo or whatever? Yeah, Mata Yahoo, yeah. Yeah, he's there. So we bought tickets. We bought four tickets. What? So They bought four tickets already to that show, and we're not going to be there. Yeah. Well, you have to take somebody else, man. Yeah, that's all that's hey, going to happen. But hey, you want to go? Uh, you want to go to Massachusetts for uh, Independence? I am not a reggae guy. <laughs> oh. oh, you would be if you went. Dave just needs oh. to relax and smoke some doobies. I forget. I forget, honestly, I forget what day. I forget what days we're coming up now. Lawrence told me like five times, and I just, dude, I have no. I do no ram up here to store dates. It's I'm telling you, I can remember. I'm the same way. I can remember Michael Jackson Thriller lyrics from 1984, <laughs> but I can't remember what the fuck I had for dinner tonight. Man. I, I don't remember what. Tells me when she tells me when to put in PTO, she's like, she'll give me a post-it on my way out the door to work, and she'll be like, "You should put in I'm like, "Okay, that's yeah. what I do." Nice. I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going, but these are the days I need to take off. So that's what I put in at work. Uh, but I just had to make you feel bad. Not that it really worked. <laughs> you feel bad? I didn't spend money on concert tickets. Have a good time. <laughs> I guess that's a good point. Lauren said, don't be mean. I'm not being mean. And I told you, you can go by yourself. I don't have to talk later. What, am I supposed to take two weeks off work? I mean, that's not a bad idea. She said, just take the whole month, who cares? Our fucking bill collectors don't care, I'll tell you that much. Nah, man, I can't wait till the... <laughs> nah, I can't wait till you guys come off. It's going to be fun. Hey, getting called on my fucking phone will be blowing up. They're like, when are you going to pay this bill? And I'll be like, oh, well, never, apparently. Like, I took a whole month off work because she told me it'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went to spend money in the next savings account. <laughs> I thought my better, I thought my finances would be better served if I used them at a reggae concert, so that's what I did. I, I smoked oh, I God. smoked the rent, sorry. I made that mistake in 2015. I took the entire summer off from work. I had like four or five grand saved up in my bank account and literally by the end of the summer I had like a hundred bucks. <laughs> I went to like Warp Tour. I went to a bunch of other concerts. I went to see. I went out to Geneva actually, and I saw Power Man Five Thousand and uh, Alien Air Farm. But it makes um, for a great story, I doesn't it? The fucking place. Oh my god! I went all the way to Cincinnati for Warp Tour. What year was this? Two thousand fifteen. What year is it now? Twenty eighteen. 
don't know what year it is. Uh, it keeps changing, dude. Every time I get used to it, it changes on me. Tomorrow is going to be 2019. I don't know what the hell is going on in the live chat right now. But apparently, someone sells cow penis for dogs at the pet store. Uh, I think it's cow penis. We're eating cow penis now. Don't do drugs. Smack them. I mean, I mean, if we're talking about crazy bitches, you know, some of them might like riding a cow penis. You know, I've seen some barnyard videos. No. Are we going there? Are we going there? Is that where this live stream is going? No. Well, it's been a while. I mean, just wait. What the fuck, dude? I mean, they're out there. I just stumble upon them. Oh, my God. So. Just stumble upon a porn. So, can I share something? Can I, you know, farmyard porn into the search engine. Can I, can I share something with you guys? Stu. Stu, can I, can I share something with you? Because the other day, I don't know, it must have been two weeks ago, and I don't remember what the conversation was, but I shared a picture with my wife, and now she thinks I'm the worst person in the world. I didn't make the picture. I didn't take the picture. But I shared it. I was see we were talking. Uh, let me let me um, rattle off a few words, and if it if it reminds you of anything or if it rings a bell, let me know. I showed her a picture. Dave, do you know the words? Uh, if I put the words "tub" and "girl" together, do you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> about. Do you know what "tub girl" is there still? What is it? Tub girl. Tub girl. T-U-B, Tub Girl. Oh, Tub Girl. Yeah, I brought that up in the live chat. I... That, it's, it's, no, this is not going to be any good, right? Um, no, you, oh you, might God, to, you might have to search a little bit. No, I'm looking it up. It's, gonna, it's getting looked up right now. You might have to search. You might have to search. You know, it's funny because uh, I, I looked it up and I got a... You, <laughs> I got a I got a warning from my web advisor. My uh, firewall says, "Whoa, are you sure you want to go there?" <laughs> <laughs> so so I right. it, it says that www.tubgirl.me slash may be risky to visit. You should. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a website for it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Just let me do that. I, do my, that. Mac, my my McAfee <laughs> telling me, "Whoa." Whoa. Well, you but just, it, oh, you might, breaks, I can't, I can't there vouch really for the, I can't vouch for the website, but you might want to just search Im Google images for tub girl and just keep scrolling until your jaw drops. That's how you know you'll find it. It'll be a fat chick. No, it's not a fat chick. She kind of is. She's got a big booty. Well, she's Asian. Yes. I hear warning. Wait a minute. <laughs> Google. Dude, Google completely now. sucks. What is this? You type in Tub Girl, it doesn't even bring you the right freaking pictures. You got to make sure your safe search on Google is turned off. I, uh, I think it is. Sometimes on mobile, there's no way to turn it off. I said yes already to this. I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm giving my computer so many viruses right now. I just know it. Oh my Lime God. The LimeWire would be better for you right now. Oh, my God. LimeWire. <laughs> if you want to give your computer eight, yeah, go to LimeWire. I pulled out the uh, hard drive for my very first computer that had LimeWire on it, and I'll actually do... Uh, I did a virus scan on it, and it had like 3,000 viruses. Oh, dude. LimeWire Lime was the worst. That, I used BearShare, I used LimeWire, I used Torrents way back in the day when they were incredibly unsafe. Like, I was an idiot of a teenager. Oh, yeah. So we did, yeah. I charged my parents' phone bill $900 because of paid porn through the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> How much? 900 Nine hundred dollars for two and a half hours of dial-up porn. Wow, mm. dude, that's impressive. That's expensive. <laughs> Just because every 
video you clicked on, it charged for. And if a video didn't load, I just clicked on a new one. Just trying to find the trying to find the right one for the mood you were in. <laughs> I think I was like thirteen years old. Oh, so you were just an overload. You wanted it all. Oh yeah. Dude, this is totally disappointing. Like, you search Tub Girl, and you can't even find the original picture anymore. I think they took, I think they took her down, bro. I keep getting all these warning images. And, I found uh, well, I found one, but the, uh, the resolution is absolutely horrible. Yeah, I've never found a good resolution picture of it. Oh, my God. I should have saved this from back in the day. I wish I would have went back in the day. Like, if I wish I would have just downloaded and saved everything. Like, meatspin.com is still up. That's a good one. You like meatspin.com, Snow? You what spin me it? You spin me right round rec like a record, right round, baby? You know that song? <laughs> you know that song? I do. I know the song. Okay. Search meatspin.com. Meatspin? Yeah, Meatspin. It's very non-threatening, right? It's, it's a nice name. There's yeah, always a nice. There's always a lemon party, too. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do that. Oh. I'm still trying to find... I'm still trying to find... You just have to find Tough Girl and send it to me. Uh, yeah, I'll have to. The original's Let's out see, there, son. if you search on 4chan, you can find the original. Okay, yeah, I'll have to do that because Google doesn't pull up the original anymore. No, it doesn't. I don't know how I found it the other day. I found it for my wife and I showed it to her and she was just like, she looked at me in absolute disgust. Like I was the worst freaking just disgusting pig ever. Working <laughs> has some of the best stuff ever on it though. Like the best fart stories and stuff like that. The best public poop stories. Oh my god! Yep, yeah, my favorite. One of my favorites is the one where the guy goes on the on the. Uh, it's like a Craigslist ad. The guy goes on a date with the chick, and they're in her car, and she farts and shits herself, and he's going on, and it's like you shit your pants, you you got embarrassed, you took off, and I just want a second date or something. It was just like the most the freaking hilarious story I've ever heard. I need to find the one that I think is my, I found the one that I think is my favorite. No! No! I found it! Oh, no! <laughs> I always know that scream. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, I think he's sure. Oh, no. I don't even know how one does that. <laughs> no. God, I just put the greatest shit story on earth from 4chan in the same folder as pictures of my son by accident. That's really awkward. Nice. Hey, let me show you some pictures of my son. Oh, by the way, disregard that. story I really like. Stu still has that. Look at his. He's still frozen in time. Oh, he's just done. I feel like he paused his camera right there and now he just like left to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to the X button, but it's not working. There it is. <laughs> what 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 would you just find? The the tub girl is that the one with the chick with the the belly button? The belly button? The, maybe I found a different video. I don't know. No, this isn't a video. This is a still picture. Uh, like trying to put his penis in a girl's belly button? No, that's different. That's I want his kids in the sandbox. I've never seen that. Oh, well, that one was just. This is going downhill real fast, guys. Yeah, this is this is to the point that like we should probably move the Red Two live stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're gonna move, we have to do it because I'm getting off here pretty. Oh soon. my God! Here it is. I found. Oh, oh, oh my no. God! What the fuck? That's all the stories. <laughs> it's gonna be full on fletch packing. <laughs> oh no. There, that's a good picture right here. Oh, no. You found All right, me. Stu. I'm sending you a text message. Are you sending me a text? That's I'm a sending idea. you a text. This is... I don't think Facebook will even allow that uploaded. Nah. Tell me when you get the... Oh, you just let me know. Oh, you let me know by the face. No, I'm sure, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you all know. It's just not. So, Dave, which is worse, Tub Girl or Blue Waffle? 
I've never seen Blue Waffle. What? I, I kind of have a weak stomach. I kind of come across this stuff by accident. Just like browsing 4chan. I've seen some shit, but like, I haven't seen Blue Waffle. I've seen literal Blue Waffles. I've eaten a literal Blue Waffle. <laughs> so did you get it yet? Well, I probably yeah, I'm like getting some things that smell like Blue Waffle. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Why? I don't know how one does that. That's amazing to me. Like, if you can do that, that's a skill. Not only is it a skill, like, the chick's got skill, but the photographer's got reflexes like, you know, like a tiger. I'm going to guess that the photographer had his camera on burst and just yeah. caught not only did he have it on burst, but I think she had it on burst as well. Yeah, right? <laughs> I wouldn't call it. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess that is a good word for it. <laughs> oh, no. He's wearing a mask. Yeah, you got to hide your identity these days just to be safe. Oh, yeah. We really would have been able to tell who she was. <laughs> I like how they have certain areas blurred out, but, like, everything else is... Good to go. Yeah, there's no point in blurring out most of that. No. Um, You're not even going to see that part. You're not going to see your badge, bro. You're never going to even look at that. Uh, I appreciate the fact that she left her socks on. <laughs> I never noticed that. That's impressive. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, man. All right, I'm sorry. Really yeah, there's some really crazy shit out there, and that's not even <sighs> out of the fun. So did you check out meatspin.com? I have, I have by accident in the past. Meat Somebody spin. linked it to me. Meatspin.com. Oh, man. Everybody oh, right now needs to check yeah, after are. the live stream, of course. I hope my kid never look at my browser history. Just uh, it. I'm sure they've seen worse. <laughs> uh, if you are under the age of 18 or find this site offensive, please leave now. All right. How can you know <laughs> if you find it offensive if you haven't My seen God. it yet? <laughs> Unless it changed, did it change? Wouldn't be a surprise if someone almost got sued over it. There we go. Uh, it's trying to load. It's pretty old. Yeah, is that is it still up and running? It should be. Uh. I know leak spin is still up and running. <laughs> he found it. No, 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 no. <laughs> What'd you get to like four or five? <laughs> yeah, I think it was like seventeen. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, there's a comedian that says that everybody is some percentage of gay. Nobody's zero percent gay. Oh. And, uh, I think I was a solid twenty-seven percent, maybe. <laughs> Now I'm up over 40. <laughs> that was, um, I think that was Ron White. That was Ron White because he was telling a story to his buddy. And he's like, yeah, everybody's a certain percentage gay. And his buddy's like, nah, yeah, man, I I'm 100% straight. And he's like, nah, man, you, you watch you watch porn? And he's like, well, yeah, yeah, who doesn't watch porn? He's like, yeah, you do you watch, what do you watch? Do you watch ma like man on woman, man on man, woman on woman? He's like, nah, man. Man on woman, that's the only porn to watch. He's like, well, what, why? Why is that? He's like, there's nothing more, nothing better than a man just pounding. He's like, would you, would you want to watch it if the dude had a nice little, little, little floppy little dick or a nice, hard, strong, he's like, well, a nice, hard, strong, of course. I do remember that. And then he says, exactly, right there, 27% gay. <laughs> uh, now he's curious. No, no, I'm not quite 
quite the curious stage yet, but wow. Hey, Mike Colley. Mike Colley, what's up, dude? So, uh, yeah, I don't know what percentage exactly I am right now, but I, I know it went up in the last five minutes. <laughs> what went up? Your percentage or something else? <laughs> yeah, both, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so you, I hide it with a Hawaiian shirt really well. Can't even see it under there. Oh, my gosh, man. Woo. <laughs> you mean you can't find it under there? Hey. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> so, I am definitely going to be getting off here in the next few minutes. No pun intended or pun intended? Yeah. No, pun intended. Oh, all right. I do have to work tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully some strange people at Walmart. Although it's kind of dead when I get, I get there at like 6 a.m. And it's kind of dead in Walmart at 6 a.m. So uh, That's true. That's when yeah. I used to do my grocery shopping. Yeah. yeah I, think I'd see, uh, I think I'd see stranger people on later shift. I'm going to have to shoot for those. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to do some Walmart videos this week because I want to see some Walmart uh, – some Walmart confrontations. So I'm going to look for some of this stuff up. Yeah. And I'm going to look for some pictures from uh, from the uh, Cleveland Steel Yard Commons Walmart. Tell you what, Walmart. I'll do the same. Um, we'll put them up in our in our in our chat that we have, and I'll uh, I'll we'll, I'll record them. I'll download them, whatever it takes. We'll live stream them, and we'll have some awesome. Next week we'll have some awesome Walmart stories, pictures videos, whatever it takes. Maybe I'll try to go see, maybe I'll try to go see uh, Steve Horseradish in jail this week. You think he'd, he'd see you? I don't know. I don't think they, they know. They just get told they're having a visitor. Uh, I don't know if they have visiting hours. I'm not sure. He's being held downtown, I'm sure. Well, and, uh, what's his, what is his uh, bail? 5K. 5K? Oh, we can super chat that. <laughs> yeah, wow. He violated a restraining order. Well, we're uh, already down to. Uh, I think. Did you see the? Did you see the stuff I said to you earlier today? Yeah, I was going through that. So what? Yeah. yeah so, you know, the, fifteen minutes. You know, it seems like most of the time the guy was telling the truth. Telling the truth, like he knew what he was talking about. So oh. everything he said was true. I can verify right now. The only things I haven't been able to verify. Yet are whether or not he received a degree in music from YSU with a minor in astronomy and geology. Okay. No, and, astrology. Uh, astronomy. Astronomy and geology. Oh, and geology. Yeah, he said both. Oh, mm, okay. Well, we can't verify yeah, that. His major was in music. His minor was in uh, astronomy and uh, geology. He is a hell of a drummer. We do have that video we can throw up. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a fact. Uh, the saga of Steve Horseradish is long from over, I believe. I think that we can we can really find out some stuff. But I think I am going to call down there and see if they have visiting hours. Dude. And see if I can get a visit with him. So Craig did a $1.99 super chat. Um, we're down. We're up to, uh, we only need $4,998.01. To get horse rider Steve out on bail. You know, if we had Jerry from Jerry's Kids, we could raise that money. We could. Oh, we could. We could do a, a freaking telethon, an all night telethon. They don't do those anymore because nobody uses real telephones. We need to bring back the telethon. Maybe we'll do a live stream all an all nighter one night a telethon. We just all buy burner phones from Walmart so people can call us. Oh my God! How much is it? How much does a burner phone cost? Hell, if I know. Well, I mean, I have enough phones to just send us around. All we have to do is get SIM cards. How much does a SIM card cost? Eh, it depends on what you go through. Dude, we could have guests call us all night long. How cool would that be? Kind of creepy. I think it'd be cool. I'm down with the creepy. I think that'd be cool. Well, he didn't know. I can tell by the picture you just sent me. <laughs> I love that picture, man. Your face was priceless. You were just like frozen in time. I really want 
to show it to Lauren. She's sitting here on the couch, but there's no way that uh, I might get punched in the face. Ah. <laughs> Lauren, I showed I showed it to my wife. I showed it to my wife, and now she thinks I'm the most dirtiest, creepiest guy in the world. Still, well, let me ask my girlfriend if she's seen it. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Hey, Celeste, you know Tub Girl, right? Oh, she can't hear me. You know Tub Girl, right? You can turn around yourself to go and see it. She's never seen it. Oh, God. No, oh, my I'm God. Go it. <laughs> All I hear is, no, you don't. <laughs> no, it's not. She said, do you find that attractive? No, it's not attractive. It's, it's disgusting, but also amazing in some way. It's... It's, it is amazing in a sense. So Lauren just yeah, now. She must eat the cactus. Lauren just now saw it for the first time. Uh, Dave, your your girlfriend Celeste. Yes. And she, you said she's never seen it, right? She's heard of it, never seen it. Oh man, you guys aren't living. You guys aren't living until you've seen Tub Girl. I need this. I need that cactus video too. Oh, I could send you that. I'll I'll send it to you on. Oh. I'll send it to you on Facebook, man. What do you say? That'll be the warm up. <laughs> yeah. butt, her, her butt is really wide open. Lauren just said her butt's really wide open. Isn't yeah. that? that? Yeah, that spigot is fully open. That's a. That's a there you go, <laughs> Dave. Like got it. It's like a mini donut. Oh, God. I didn't expect that. Ah. First of all, listen, it's prolapsed. Her rectum is prolapsed. Which means there's a lot of force behind that as it is. There's oh, a whole lot of exertion there. I was expecting the video of the cactus, not that. Oh, my bad. Wrong picture. How'd that get in there? Sorry. Didn't mean to oh, send that to you. In that chat again. You get some guy asking what kind of underwear you're wearing. Ah, uh, joke's on you. I'm not wearing any yeah. underwear. Joe accidentally sent me the wrong thing, quote unquote. <laughs> well, it's for you to show to Celeste. Are you ready? Are, are, are you ready? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, I don't want to see it. Come girl. Leave me alone, you weirdo. No, I have seen that. Can you show it to me? Oh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she is wearing socks. <laughs> I told you she was wearing socks. They're, they're white socks. They're like, they're like, yeah, they're like knee highs. Yeah, they're knee high. Like, like mop and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> those are, uh, yeah. those, are her, those are her going to church socks. They're going to church socks. Oh. They're going to church socks. I feel so bad for that cameraman. You know, maybe it wasn't a cameraman. Maybe she just had it mounted on a podium. Yeah, she was or just waiting driver. for it, and that's the screenshot from a video. I gotta figure. I don't know. I gotta figure if it was a. Yeah, just, uh, oh God! I had to delete it. Oh, it's oh, in there. God. You can never delete it. It's I, there. No, you can't on Facebook. I can't delete it from my mind. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! That was so bad. You know, that's a pretty small. That's a pretty small tub, too. By the way. Yeah, it is. That's um, a really small tub. I feel like it's just, uh, it's meant to shower. I really don't think that it's meant to. That's one of those small Japanese showers. It's one of those really small apartment ones, yeah. All right, hey, I got to be right back. I got to take a leak. And then we'll wrap this thing up. We'll wrap this live stream up. Sounds good. Yeah, so it's, I mean, I'm looking at it. It almost looks, you know what her face looks like is, uh, I, it, I majored in forensic science in college, so I got to look at a lot of crime scene photos and things of that nature. And uh, I seen people smacked in the face with like hatchets that were in better shape than that. Oh, I'm, I, yeah, I'm sure there's been better things in better shape. <laughs> but her butthole is perfectly round. I'll give her that. She's very. Uh, I want to know what that actually is. It looks like a bunch of nacho cheese. It's coming out of her bum? Yeah. Uh, what you... Probably shoved one of those cheese bags up there from like BP. 
Oh. <laughs> like the nacho, the ones with the nacho machine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> have you ever, I don't know, have you ever worked, have you ever put one of those bags in those machines? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I worked at a Sheets. We had a cheese machine like that, so I know exactly what you're talking about. That's a big bag of cheese, bro, to be shoving up your butt. That's Whoa. True. Whoa. What I miss here. <laughs> Talking about how it looks like nacho cheese. Oh. Ah. Yeah, like right. Nacho cheese bags you put in the machines at gas stations up a rectum. And I'm like, that's a pretty big bag of cheese to be shoving up your ass. Oh, man. I'm going to die. I, I feel like, well, whatever she, I feel like whatever it was, she, she had uh, some kind of enema uh, right before this picture was taken. And then they just, they pulled the hose out. And this is what happened. They like oh, yeah. position, they just yanked the hose like you would a tub drain. Yeah. Mike was asking what it's called. I hope I I hope he was asking about Tub Girl because that's what I put in the chat. I feel like that's a really bad thing to put in a YouTube chat. This has already gone south. <laughs> Instant ban, Tub Girl. Edward, uh, hey, Edward's never gonna be back. His mom is gonna see this picture of Tub Girl and he's getting you know, she's gonna kill him. She's gonna remove the internet from existence. Yeah, uh, the you know what's funny? Stage three prospect right there says Pigpen must have a great wife who lets him do whatever. Uh, he's always online. I'll tell you, man, I lucked out. My wife is freaking amazing. Except for that time we got really drunk and she, I, I told her she, I, I was egging her on. I kept telling her you wouldn't, I told her, I kept telling her you won't, you don't have the balls. You don't have the balls to throw a knife at my head. Oh, no. She threw a knife. At my head, it's stuck in the wall right next to my head. So, yeah, other than that, other than that, I, I lucked out. I have a great wife. <laughs> She's pretty cool. I tried to murder you once, but that's okay. Other than that, you know, you got to look past everybody. Some Everybody has a fault or two. You just have to look past that. You know, yeah, so I mean, what? Hey, Edward, you're you're shut the internet off. She's shutting the internet off tomorrow. You're not allowed to be, you're not going to be allowed to be online anymore if she hears about Tub Girl. So I wouldn't bring that up at uh, family dinner or anything. No. I'll show my mother and see what happens. Dude. Did you say your mother has like a foot in the grave? Yes. That That's probably not a good idea. idea. I would think to my... Yeah, I would think that might not be the best thing to do, Dave. <laughs> if, I, if, I showed, if I showed my mother that picture, she would be like, I'm going to give you a number to somebody you need to call and talk to. See, I already had a psychologist for like three years, and he didn't help me at all, apparently. He retired. <laughs> He's like, fuck I this a, shit. I had, a, uh, psychi I had a psychologist when I was going through... Uh, my divorce, I went, I had some anger problems, so I went to see somebody. It actually helps. I was surprised. Really? I just prefer to bottle that shit up and let it all out at once. Yeah, just wait until the problem was I, was, uh, I wasn't bottling it up. I was uh, lashing out, and I was drinking really heavy and making stupid uh, decisions. Wait, wait a minute. Was this last night? <laughs> was it last night? Or oh, my God. Because I'm telling you, we still drink heavily and do dumb shit. Yeah, not like I was doing nothing. All right. <laughs> but it is 11.23, boys. Yeah, it's about that time. And I am about to sign off. All right. It's dinner time. So let's get this wrapped up here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to put those notifications on. Join us next week. We'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, Walmart stories, probably some more meat spin and tub girl and blue waffles. You name it, it'll be here. No tub girl. No, no tub, tub girl? girl. All right. Well, uh, Germ was with us. Mike, but before we leave, Mike just says that's the dirtiest shit ever. Almost just puked. It's dirty. <laughs> yeah. He's right. Our job is done. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, turn those video notifications on, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Dave, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, Germ, no you know what? We'll have you back next week maybe if you're around. I should.
should be. All right. Um, I'll get some. Uh, I'll get some Walmart stories. There here we too. go. Jerm was with us earlier. Um, Stu, right here, my man Stu. A uh, few months, he'll be up here live streaming with me right here in the studio. Um, and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Peace out, Cub Scout.